Hi everyone. It is such a pleasure and honor to host you all today in this edition of DAMS Gray Matter Quiz. And we're sorry for the technical delays and we will be doing the quiz now with the five teams from all over India who have uh, you know, come so far. I would request all the participants to put on their cameras so that we can introduce to each of you and then I'll tell you about the participants and we'll go ahead with the quiz. So, hello everyone. Is everybody on? Uh, can we see all of you here? I think some teams are sitting together also, I think. Yes, sir. Perfect, perfect. So, uh, I'll to for my own uh, comfort and, and Dr. Deepthi's comfort, we'll just uh, see who is uh, from which team. So, team A is from East Zone. Where we have Dr. Aniket Bose, Dr. Sayak Bhattacharya, and Dr. Mayuk Hazra. All of them are from one from Midnapur Medical College, West Bengal, Medical College, Kolkata, and Medical College, Kolkata. Can you introduce yourself, Aniket, Sayak, and Mayuk? Yes. Uh, hello, sir. Hello, ma'am. I'm Aniket Bose. Uh, I'm an intern from Midnapur Medical College. Okay. Very nice. Sayak Bhattacharya. Hello, sir. Hello, ma'am. I am a final year student from uh, Medical College, Kolkata. Great. Uh, Mayuk Hazra. Uh, good morning, uh, respected faculties. I am Dr. Mayuk Hazra from Medical College. Okay. So what we'll do is that whenever we will ask you a question, we will ask that only team A to keep their cameras on. The other team. So that other teams can close their camera at that time. So that there is no confusion because they're sitting, you know, uh, away from each other. Yes. And you can also, we can also give you time to discuss. You can, we will tell you, okay, you can discuss and you will tell us that who is going to finally answer. We, once you say, I am going to finally answer, we will take that answer as the final answer. Okay. So team B from the West zone, we have Dr. Shloka Thakkar from BJ, BJMC Ahmedabad, Nishit Thakkar from BJMC Ahmedabad and Jainam Samir Shah from GMC Surat. Can you identify yourself? Yeah. Hello, sir. Hello, ma'am. I am an intern from Government Medical College, Surat. Very nice, Veta. Very nice. Very nice to meet you, Veta. And uh, hello, sir. Hello, ma'am. I am Shloka Thakkar from final year, BJMC uh, Ahmedabad. Very nice to meet you, Veta. And uh, Nishit Thakkar. Hello, I am Nishit Thakkar, uh, final year student, BJ Medical Ahmedabad. Very nice. And Team C is from the Central Zone, where we have Dr. Devesh Dharm Rajan. Dr. Debian Banerjee and Ame Abhijit Ambike, all three are from Sage GS Medical College, KM Hospital. So are you there from Central Zone? I think they're all in the common screen. Yes, sir. Hello, everyone. I am Devesh Dharmarajan, intern at Sage GS Medical College. So all three are same college in the same window. So yes, in between, you know, you can come in the camera so that you, the audience can see all of you. <laughs> okay. Don't keep any books in between. Okay. <laughs> team, team D. From North Zone, we have Devang Agarwal from Ames Rishikesh. Uh, good evening, sir, ma'am. Uh, this is Devang Agarwal from fourth. I'm a fourth year medical student from Ames Rishikesh. Very nice. And Vidhi Gupta and Tejas Sekri from AMC Delhi, Maulana Azad Medical College, Delhi. Good evening, sir. And Tejas from AMC, third year student. And Great. Vidhi Gupta. Good evening, sir. I'm Vidhi Gupta from third year student. Yes. Wonderful. Very nice. So, and the final team from South is Dr. Shambhavi Kulkarni from uh, Kim's uh, uh, Kempegoda Institute of Medical Sciences. Oh, okay. Shambhavi, mm -hmm. are you there? Shambhavi, are you there, Bacha? Yes, mom. Uh, good evening, mom. Good evening, sir. Sorry about this. Uh, I'm Shambhavi nice. from final year Kim's Bangalore. Very nice. Very nice. And her partners are Dr. Sonat Sachin and Purnamita as Saras BA. Both are from Madurai Medical College. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. So what we'll do in this quiz is I first of all want to congratulate all of you. You all are winners because you've reached so far. But the final final winner will take home 50,000 rupees as the final grand finale prize if you win this quiz. So what we'll do is in this quiz, we will have very simple rules. One is that when uh, when you are, if I tell team A to answer, I will request all other teams to switch off their mics and cameras so that there is no disturbance and we can clearly hear what the uh, person is answering. 
and if there is any pass or something we'll keep telling you as per the rules of the round okay but there will be another screen now i want you all to see another screen and let us know that you are all able to see it as well right i'll just open an another screen and i'll enter with another window so that you can clearly see the quiz as well just give me one second and meanwhile i should uh, really congratulate each one of you you're a heterogeneous group uh, some are from third year some are fourth year students some are final year students and someone is an intern so this is absolutely amazing and we are proud of each one of you and um, you know may the best team win so are you able to see now on your side a uh, 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 big screen showing you the quiz can you see it team a can you please answer can you all see the big screen team a Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Perfect. Okay. Team B, bache, can you just let us know if you can see the big screen with the quiz? Yes, ma'am. Perfect. Yes, ma Team C, we would need your answer as well. Are you able to see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Ma Perfect. Team D, bache, not zone. Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. We can see the. Yes, ma'am. We can see. Wonderful. And Perfect. lastly, Team E, south zone, bache, are you able to see? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Perfect. So that helps us that the audio video is good for everyone. so we'll start with the first round first round is just to you know warm you up to the quiz and what we'll do is in the first round we will have a history <laughs> round okay i know you don't like history but you know we have to respect the history of medicine so we'll yeah. start with the history round that's what brought us in so far in this round you will have you know because we have five teams so we have kept 10 questions for the teams and two questions will be for the audience who will answer it on the youtube later on If you answer it correctly, you will get plus ten. There are no negative marking, no passes. So we'll go from A to E, and we'll second round we'll go from the E to A, and we will after each circle we will give one question for the audience. Okay, let us now start the first question, and I will show you the question for Team A. I will request all other participants to switch off the camera other than the Team A. everyone else please turn off your cameras but team a please turn on and be ready so first I we are going to shambhavi also if you can switch off your camera it will be great so in the first round we are starting from team a we will go until the fifth team and team e and then the second question we will go reverse okay so the first question for team a is okay and you have no negative marking plus 10 marks to be one here and the scorers for this quiz will be miss kanika and mr rakesh mr rakesh they are in the uh, video section they are counting your scores i'll also ask them to keep cross checking the scores every round sure yes. sir okay first question for team a you need to identify the scientist and his contribution which is shown to you in the image sir any hint could be given anything that is all sir how much time is there sayo uh, turn uh, turn on your mic is it uh, my my gone hai ache na na cloud cloud eta eta ye clara cell lagche ki respiratory tract clara cell clara cell hote pare hote pare clara hote pare respiratory tract lagche hmm tai to एलपोर्ट नो एलपोर्ट होते बड़े बेसमेंट में मिलने में तो एल्पोर्ट होते बड़े में भी सो वी वांट योर फाइनल आंसर नाउ बेटा फ्रॉम टीम ए यस सर सर आई थिंक दिस इज एल्पोर्ट एंड ही डिस्क्राइब द एल्पोर्ट सिंड्रोम सो दे आर सेइंग द पिक्चर शोस सेसल एल्पोर्ट एंड दे आर एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट दैट इज द करेक्ट आंसर ही वाज अ साउथ अफ्रीकन फिजिशियन हु आइडेंटिफाइड एल्पोर्ट सिंड्रोम इन 1927 Antibodies against type four collagen, anterior lenticonus, leiomyomas, sensory neural hearing loss, and we had a clue of basketball weave appearance that we had discussed. So well done, everybody! They deserve a big round of applause. They get plus ten marks. Now the next question will be for Team B. I would request the Team A 
from the east zone to switch off their cameras and only the west zone team with B shloka nishid and jenam to put on their cameras so we go to the next question for the team from west zone shloka nishid and jenam okay and the question is identify the scientist and his contribution the time starts now zombie appearance zombie ha edge edge bhi jo laga hai homan ke la zombie hai ryan something ryan okay ha but disproportionate to the hmm homan ke la koi syndrome zombie type na bhai insomnia or fever we say okay hypersomnia insomnia na hernia hernia should be chilled Dueling of saliva related with our TPS to perform the side effects. Ah, uh, so FFI. But the scientists also got on. We want the final answer now, beta, from you. Crutzville, Jacob, okay. No, no, no. The Marplon is not. No. Okay, beta. Final answer, beta. Final answer. Time up. Can we guess? Guess card, final answer. Final answer. Two guess card. Sir, Crutzfield Jacob. Crutzfield Jacob. They are saying, but unfortunately, that is not correct. They were on the right direction. We could hear them. So what we are looking at is a scientist who's called as Jules Cotard. Yeah, he's a fake scientist. He was the man who gave the Cotard oh. delusion of walking cop syndrome. You were in the right direction. It is a mental disorder in which the affected person holds. delusional belief that they are dead and do not exist internal organs are getting putrefied he is neurologist and a psychiatrist yeah. jules cotard and delirium of negation was what we were mm -hmm. seeing on the image cotard well tried you were in the right direction but no marks for you so far next we will ask team c from central zone devesh dharm rajan debyan benerji ame abhijit uh, from set gs to put on their camera and everybody else to switch off the camera and the mics Next, we will show you our image, and you need to tell us who is he and what is his contribution. The scientist and his contribution. Okay, there is a clue in the contribution, and the scientist is shown to you. Okay, the time is running out. Can we have the yes. answer? So, uh, is this who discovered Trier of January? January. Unfortunately, that is not correct. So we cannot give you any marks. There are no score to be, you know, got here. Just for the academic sake, anybody from the participants who wants to give an answer, or anybody from the YouTube who is watching us right now who wants to give us an answer in the comment box. Anybody in the audience? Anybody in these participants who wants to answer? Okay. So what who we are looking at is we are looking at if you look at the image. you can see there are you can see on the image there are two blood vessels shown with a a vascular plane in between we are looking at the man max brodel he gave us the a vascular plane of brodel which is the area of relative paucity of blood vessels in the posterior aspect of renal parenchyma this is the plane we use for nephrolithotomy plane located just posterior to the lateral convex border of the kidney this was the answer to the he question he is actually a famous medical illustrator so are we all ready for the team d now for their direct question team with devang vidhi gupta and tejas from mc and aims rishikesh can you put on your cameras beta okay so we have a very interesting question for you let us see if you can identify we'll show you a scientist and the contribution side by side we are not only asking you to identify the scientist look at the contribution it will give you a very important clue okay this is the question identify the scientist and his contribution mam sir it is ct wala hi lag raha hai koi extra dural hydrate ke sir ye ct ka hi wo kaun sa tha wo hans field to nahi lag raha hai सर क्या है है ना तो मेंसफील्ड या डॉटर अच्छा हो सकता 
सर पॉल मैंसफील्ड या पीटर लॉटर पर उनमें से कोई पूछना है और वो होगा एक आर टी नहीं कोई सर्जन ही लग रहा है डेंडी वॉक करें वो हो सकता है तो बताओ बताओ नाम लो जल्दी सर वो हो सकता है आनंद जारी टाइम अप सो नाउ वी वांट योर फाइनल आंसर फाइनल आंसर फाइनल आंसर तो चलो सर एक आरडी आई डोंट नो देवांग वी वुड वांट योर कैमरास टू बी ऑन एट ऑल टाइम बेटा यस प्लीज लीव द कैमरास ऑन एट ऑल टाइम्स बेटा है ना फाइनल आंसर बेटा Unfortunately, that is not correct. That is a wrong answer. So let's look at the MRI again. When you see the MRI, you will see half of the brain is atrophied. That is why the ventricle on one side is dilated. You were on the right direction when you said there is exvacuo dilatation of the ventricle. There is hemi atrophy. Now, although there are no marks now, can you think of a encephalitis in which you develop progressive hemi atrophy? Sir, Dyke David of Mason. No, any other encephalitis that you, in which you develop. progressive is, hemi atrophy that is called as rasmussen's encephalitis yeah, the man was rasmussen this is a chronic encephalitis um, affecting one hemisphere antibodies against glutamate receptor 3 and he's a canadian neurosurgeon neurologist that you can see theodore brown rasmussen he he actually specialized in treatment in histopath of epilepsy and this encephalitis is typically associated with epilepsy that's how he worked on it usually you will have children with no intractable epilepsy who show a progressive hemiatrophy in the brain with this kind of patient this is a previous ina set question as well well Although, tried uh, well tried <laughs> you were in the right direction at some point of time but unfortunately we cannot give it to you so final question now for the south zone team we would request only the south zone team to put on their cameras shambhavi kulkarni sonath sachin purnamita saras madurai medical college and kempegowda institute of medical sciences Are you ready, beta? Yes, sir. Okay, we have a very interesting question for you. Look at the scientist and tell the contribution. Mr. Thomas. Mr. Thomas. Uh, some okay. science related with tetanus, maybe. What can you think of? Uh, where else? Uh, what name is that? Tetanus. Tetanus. But name. Do you know? Uh, समथिंग बेटाई you were on the right direction we don't deny that but we needed to know the scientist and the contribution okay. you yeah. definitely see yeah, a painting of of, of stotonus uh, that is seen in tetanus but the scientist is the man who drew this painting this is the painting oh. that, and this is sir charles bell scottish surgeon anatomist physiologist neurologist he told us the difference between sensory and the motor nerves bell majenty law and first painting of of his stotonus in tetanus actually bell's palsy oh. is named after him because okay. he But yeah sir. he worked out differences as written between sensory and motor nerves so that's how it's associated nice well sir. tried everyone i think now for the next question what we'll do is we will keep one question now for the team e so what we'll do is we'll go to the team e now and we'll go in the reverse direction e d and like that yeah. so i hope kanika rakesh you're keeping account अभी हम वापस से विल स्टार्ट विद द ई टीम अगेन 
south will south. go one more round but in the opposite direction yes, okay south zone so south zone chapavi sonat <laughs> and purnamita can you keep on your cameras yes sir it's on yes sir are you ready yes okay, sir okay so very interesting question i'm sure you might have read about it in the past but let's see if you are able to answer and recollect today identify the scientist and the contribution Omar, which is shown to you sir humankul 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 he discovered the various representation of uh, um, body parts uh, and their hemisphere. action okay. uh, name the scientist of... name the scientist beta okay well. humankul sorry shambhi do you recall this question uh, yes sir but i don't remember the name uh, humankul does he has the full name humankul is the name okay yeah, i think we just go with humankul we don't know sir name right shall we go shambhi the rocket He, uh, have you seen the picture of vernicke or broca it could be them also no oh, related oh. to it i don't know their full names also but they want in the second but, uh, image it's uh, the second image is uh, very better. typical of a homunculus yeah so and put... i i think it is sensory on homunculus only because uh, hands get most uh, maximum representation okay, okay, okay. so maybe that is the contribution but name i'm not able to recollect yes go with homunculus itself Okay. Okay. So final answer, sir, homunculus. So you were in the right right direction, but we cannot give it to you. Okay. Definitely, the image is showing you the cortical homunculus. That is correct. But the person that you see in front of you is Wilder Penfield. He is the American Canadian neurosurgeon who expanded neurosurgeries and gave the functions of the corticalus cortical homunculus. You were in the right direction, but. the name was not there so unfortunately we cannot give you because we have not given it to the previous participants as well so no marks to be won here but uh, you were in the right direction and we are very proud of that you are able to answer such tough questions as well and and he was actually known for uh, stimulating memory during the surgical procedure by stimulating the temporal lobe so that's oh. what he's specially known for okay well tried well tried thank you thank you okay next question is also very interesting because it's a very famous kind of a thing and i'm sure you know you will be able to tell us so i'll request the team d from the north zone devang vidhi gupta and tejas sikri from mam c and aims rishikesh to put on their cameras are you ready beta are you ready yes so let me show you the first image and you can tell the rule identify the scientist and the rule that they have shown the rule is shown on the side सर ये वाइगर्ड मेयर लॉ लग रहा है सर वाइगर्ड मेयर लॉ आप एक बार बता दो वो कि वो सुपीरियर वाला इंफीरोमीडियल जाता है सुपीरियर नहीं हां सर आप वो तो आप वो रूल बोल देना आप मैं इतना कॉन्फिडेंट नहीं हूं हां जी फाइनल आंसर बेटा फाइनल आंसर हां सर वाइगर्ड मेयर लॉ दिवांग सर आप रूल बस द सुपीरियर एक्टोपिक यूरेटर ओपन्स इंफीरोमीडियली एंड द डिस्टल वन ओपन Actually, so we'll give you full marks here. We'll give you full marks here. Very full well done. Marks. Well done. Full ten marks for the team D now. Definitely, you are a looking at Weigert and Mayer. They gave the famous law of our duplication of ureter. If you have duplication of ureter, the upper pole moiety ureter drains inframedially, and the inferior ureter drains superior ureterally. And correctly identified by both of you. We are very proud of you. So you could see the you are not supposed to identify the scientist. It is the contribution that is the clue. Full ten marks to the team D for answering. Very well done, good going. And this is the kind of rule I'm sure Dr. Deepthi will add on is when we talk about atopic insertion of the ureter yes. and all those things. This is the rule that is very important in urology. Well done, beta. We give you full ten marks. Next question for Thank team you, C. Well done, beta. So I'll now request only the team C. Can you please turn on your camera? From Saint JS Medical College, Devyan, Devesh, and Ame to put on the cameras. Yes, sir. yes, sir. So we will now show you a question and an image. It's very interesting one. Let's see if you are able to identify. I am showing you a scientist and his contribution to the field of forensic medicine. You need to tell what is the contribution. Then you will know the scientist as well. Yes, beta. Sir, anything related to? 
Hello. Yes, yes. Beta, final answer. Beta, we are waiting for your answer. Sir, is that anything to do with lie detection? I'm uh, sorry, but we uh, cannot give you the hints because we uh, haven't given it to other <laughs> teams. Yeah, we need your answer only. That's all. You, we can't do the cross questioning. Time up, sir. Okay. Yeah, so final lie answer. This lie detection. Okay, but uh, can you identify the scientist? Okay, so unfortunately, we cannot give it to you. The answer that we are looking for is Lawrence Fairwell. This is Marmar P300, memory encoding related multifaceted electroencephalographic response related to light detection. So you were in the right direction, but sometimes we don't know the people behind what we are using in the forensic medicine. Yes, I think he's also the one who patented brain fingerprinting, but yeah, most likely. It's very interesting to know that, you know, uh, all of our life in forensic, you know, we have people who are lying to us and we need to find out who is lying, who is telling the truth. So for the next question, we have Team B, B from West Zone. Shloka, Nishid and Jainam from Surat and BJMC Ahmedabad. Are you ready, Bita? Okay. So now I will show you another person, same from forensic medicine only. His contribution is shown to you. You just need to tell us what is the you know contribution and the scientist? You might have heard about him in you know maybe some of the you know literature as well. Transfusion medicine. Yeah, transfusion. FM. Forensic medicine is written in front of you, beta. Fingerprints like synthesis karamatic something ke fingerprint no father kona do like like fingerprinting kono inkans. Fingerprint no chemical fruit. Ada ya cha. Like anus preparation something lage se kya like. Hmm. Koi test mat anus kya? Arey ya. Okay, but a final answer. Time is up, sir. Lockard, what do you catch? Exchange theory. No, no. Suicide reworking. Suicide reworking. So it's. Time is up. Final answer, but a final answer. Lockard. Okay, unfortunately, we cannot give it to you. What you are looking at is a scientist called as Jack Kevorkian. He is the man behind the death machine or the Thanatron, named after the Greek demon Thanatos. In one of the things, you have saline, another you have sodium, thiopental, potassium chloride, panchromium, and bromide. It is for painless death, <laughs> assisted suicide, and euthanasia device. So what you actually saw here was the euthanasia device. Do you know that he is uh, he is very commonly called as Dr. Death. That's what he's Death. popularly. And he was actually convicted of murder. He said he almost helped 130 patients to die that way. And he said dying is not a crime. Right. So he's called as Dr. Death. So the history of medicine is full of such stories and mm -hmm. things that we may not know as youngsters but they're very interesting and this is how the thinking process in medicine has evolved so for the next question now i'll request the team a aniket sayak and mayuk to put on the cameras and the mic Rest everyone of them else can please switch turn off, the off cameras. your cameras and you have a very easy question let me see if you can answer identify the scientist and his contribution uh, it a Christian Bernard Hutchana, a heart transplant. Bernard, Christian Bernard, heart transplant. How time near time near Arkish Munacha? Christian Bernard, heart archives. Times hundred a year magazine. Christian Bernard, yeah. Okay, but a final answer. Final answer, but yes, sir. Sir, time is left. We are again discussing within the chat. Arkish Munacha, no, 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 no
फर्स्ट अटेंडेंट यस सर वी आर गिविंग द आंसर सर ही इज डॉक्टर क्रिश्चियन बर्नार्ड ही परफॉर्म द फर्स्ट हार्ट ट्रांसप्लांट इन सम 1900 एंड हिज नेम वाज फीचर्ड इन द टाइम्स मैगजीन इन द टॉप 100 इन्फ्लुएंशियल पीपल ऑफ द ईयर आई थिंक I think you are absolutely correct. You get full ten marks. You are looking at Christian Bernard, December three, nineteen sixty-seven. He did the first successful cardiac transplant oh, in Cape Town, South Africa, for Louis Poshansky. Well done, beta. Full marks. Full ten marks to you. Well done. Very well done. Now we have two questions for all of you. I think all of you can put them. Put your cameras on. There will be no marks for these two questions. They are just bonus questions. Either you can answer, or anybody watching us in the YouTube can answer later on. we have a very two more questions just to, for the sake of academics then we will have the scores i would request kanika and rakesh to have the score ready after yes, i finish sir. okay so yes. identify the great woman and the significance of this image can this very... anyone can anyone from the teams try and answer this something uh, okay let's since it's a you know we're not giving giving any numbers let's give you hints the your first hint is that uh, something recent, related very to recent. covid let's see now if you can tell us is she the first vaccine recipient of covid yes well done, well done. very so very we can only give you a round of applause <laughs> we are looking at margaret keenan 91 that's great, year old first one to receive covid vaccine on 8 december 2020 made by pfizer and biontech covid-19 vaccine excellent so you can see that history of medicine is as recent as 2020 2020 history was made with the pandemic okay so i have one more image and the reason we are showing you the next image is because of his origin it's very important to know that you know we sometimes underestimate the role that our own scientists have played in the healthcare So I'll show you a Indian scientist. Look at this great person and Again, his contribution. Again, recent. Let us know. Very recent, and you can see Ramnath Kovind, our president, also with him. Anyone? Anyone who wants to give this answer? You can see the Padam Shri Award being given. So can you see that sometimes we may not be okay, aware of me, the progress being happened? Let me give you a hint. Our own country. A, a age-old disease, but we are seeing a sudden increase in the number of cases. And it's all, always in the news channel. Now can be on Twitter as well. Twitter news channels. Are they correct? No, no. No. Leprosy, anything related to that? No. Okay. It's getting hotter. Diabetes warmer. mellitus. No. Recently, the news and everything it was being talked about. How many? So of Alzheimer's. You, how many Alzheimer's. of you? Have, how many of you have a pet dog? Rabies. 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 Oh, rabies. Rabies. Omesh Kumar Bharti. First uh, field epidemiologist from Shimla, 2019, he received the Padam Shri for providing anti-rabies vaccine at a affordable price. Right. So, uh, so this was an interesting round, and let me tell you, you know, it looks like history. It looks like boring, but you know, a lot of times your entrance exams would have questions, if not identify the scientists, but something related to things we have talked about, because these are like historical events. that uh, you know have special place in uh, history of medicine and more important is the contribution so we yes. thought that we'll discuss the contribution side by side in the next round i would request all of you to put on your cameras Achha, so that you uh, the scores of the first uh, round before, yes let's just yes. have the scores at the end of the round one so that there is no controversy yes sir the team a is leading with 20 points team d is leading with 10 points and team c B, C, and E yet not open the account. Okay, so for the next question, what we'll do is, we will now ask you all to put on your cameras, and we are getting some messages from students that, you know, uh, they want to see your hands at all the times. Yeah, okay. can you please keep hands <laughs> hands near the camera yes, so that nobody is showing. Yes, because we have to ensure that it's it's uh we are all at far flung places, but we have to ensure that we are all doing it. Okay. You know, in the best no, way. No, I get bank because you know, bright students, you don't need anything else apart from your super duper brain, which is always with you, right? So when you when it's your turn. we want to see your hands like this okay. that's that's the best okay, okay? even if you win you know it's it should be by fair means so now what we'll do is for the next round the next round is going to be a round which is called as the trivia round trivia round okay 
in this round again, we'll have one question each team. Each team. There will be total six questions. So five for the scoring. One will be a bonus question for just academic purpose or the audience purpose. Correct answer will get you 10 marks. No negative marking, no passing. 30 seconds will be the time limit. Quiz master's decision will be final as usual. <laughs> I will now request the team A to put on their cameras and everybody else. Team A, Aniket Bose, Sayak Bhattacharya, Mayu Khazra, East Zone, Medical College Calcutta and Midnapur Medical College West Bengal to put on the Everyone cameras. else, please put off Sir, your... Uh, trivia means uh, means anything, any kind of or related to history and uh, any sort of or uh, related to the medical uh, sciences. Usually related, 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 related to medical, medical sciences. sciences. Absolutely. Something new discovery or something like that. You know, okay, everybody their hands folded so that we can see it on the screen and perfect. Thank you, boys. That's very sweet okay. of you. Okay, are you ready, team A? And look at the question now. You have to identify the newly discovered retinal cells and their function. so I don't think we can give it to you. There is no pass here, but anybody uh, or another participants wants to just answer for the sake of academics or anybody from the audience in the YouTube wants to answer before I tell you the answer. Anybody wants to answer? So what we are looking at are cells which are now called as Campana cells. These are the cells which relate to both rods and cones photoreceptors in retina and they resemble the shape of a handbell. Okay. Let's now... Did you hear about it? Did you know about it? No. All right. No. Someone mentioned that uh, some cell was discovered but didn't mm. remember. Yeah. Name at all. No worries. Okay. So that's the purpose. We also, you know, learn as we play the quizzes. Right? Now I'll request the team B from uh, Shloka, Nishid and Jenam from the West Zone, BGMC Ahmedabad and GMC Surat to put on the cameras. Turn on your cameras, Bache, and can we see your hands folded on these screens? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Perfect. Now you need to look at the image that I'm showing and mention the significance. Uh, X-ray uh, crystallography. Crystallography. Madam. Ah, Madam. फोटोन so I think we can give it to you. Yes, uh, we are yes. looking at photo 51. Because the, you also this mentioned the, photo 51 yeah. while you were discussing. So well done. X-ray fiber diffraction image, paracrystal gel composed of DNA fiber. 51st photo of Franklin taken by Raymond Goslin, student of Rosalind Franklin. This is the image which gave us the critical evidence for identifying the structure of DNA. Of DNA. So we Very give you good. full 10 marks. With 10, full marks 10 marks for team well D. Well done. well done. Team C, can you please turn on your cameras and your hands folded on the screen, Bachas? Perfect. Thank you Perfect. so much. And we have a very interesting question for you. A Let's very see. recent question. I'm sure we have all seen this, but I don't know if Let's you know. Let's see if we can it. recall. Right. Okay. Let's see if you can recall. Identify the whistleblower. Okay. 
इम्पेंडिंग कोविड आउटब्रेक Uh, we don't know his name like he was the first to report cases of atypical pneumonia to the who probably so any name that you can think of any you know i'm sure you can make up a name as well <laughs> what, what what is the usual name in chinese people li 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 something <laughs> Lee. Okay. Okay. So we gave you full marks here because you were in the right direction. We will look at Lee Wen Liang. Because you also mentioned Wuhan. The ophthalmologist from yes. Wuhan Hospital who raised the alarm about coronavirus on 30th December. I still remember we were traveling at that time. Suddenly yeah. we heard this, and then in March we had that lockdown coming up. And unfortunately, he died uh, while working for the yes. patients on COVID. The initially he was repenitent for telling the people about the emerging so virus. That's a debate whether he died due to COVID or he died because he was the vessel. Let's see now. So let's go on to the next question now for Team D. Team D, can you please turn on your From camera? From the North Zone, uh, Devang, Vidhi Gupta, Tejas, Ma'am C Delhi, Ames Rishikesh. You have a very interesting. Thank you, uh, Tejas and Vidhi. Can we also see your hands, Bache, on the screen because we yes, can ma'am. perfect. We Thank you. We have a you. very interesting question for you. You know, sometimes you know we don't look at the things around, but they are very interesting. Just look at this Roman Empire emperor, and think of the disease that he might have died from. We don't need to identify the emperor, but we need to know the disease that this Roman emperor died of. प्लीग हो सकता है कॉन्स्टेंटीन्स हुआ था ना आंखें खुल रही हैं बट नहीं बट प्लेग बुरा वो तुक्का नहीं है सर अगस्त क्योंकि नाम ही आई थिंक आउटब्रेक का कॉन्स्टेंटीन और अगस्टिनियन ऐसे थे Time up, sir. Time is up, sir. Time is up, sir. Time is up. Sir, we think it is plague. Unfortunately, that is not correct. Sir, could I? Uh, yes. Uh, I'll ask the other teams now to guess. Yeah. Because there's no marks, but can yeah, you no guess? Yeah, no marks, but sir, any other team. Thyrotoxicosis, Graves' disease, maybe because his eyeballs are bulged out. Yeah, my. It's a that very is... interesting. Very uh, good. Uh, uh, you know, observation that is absolutely correct. That Max Linus Dana the observation, uh, the is with thyrotoxicosis. Graves' disease was the answer. And when you look at this, you can see the exo exophthalmos in his yeah, they did, uh, they statue did. as well. Yeah. So you know, the people who were artists and sculptors in the past were very observant, and they were you know making the things as it is. Sometimes the clinical symptoms were also engraved in stone. So a very interesting question, but unfortunately, no one can get any mark out of it. I have a, another interesting question now for the team E South Zone, Sambhavi, Sonath, and Purnavita Madurai Medical College and Kims Kempegoda Medical. Are you ready, Bita? Yes, sir. yes, sir. Okay, let me show you the you I you need to tell me the term used here to describe <laughs> a man turning into wolf in psychiatry. Mm. Hmm. That lupus because lupus means wolf, right? But psychiatry. But psychiatry uh, term. Psychiatry. Okay. Uh, I know lupus. That means like wolf bitten rash. But yeah, uh, right. yeah, lupus. Maybe you should have seen this film too late. Maybe they use a term. Twilight. Uh. Yeah, man turning into a wolf. Why yeah. does man turn into a wolf? Like sudden burst of anger or uh... time up, sir? Your time is Bilbo. up. Bit. Term is bipolar. Bipolar. No, no, no. Maybe lupus. Lupus. Sir, psychiatry. Hmm. उंडोर so we are at the end of this round before we i'll ask all of you to put on your camera so that we can do one question for 
just either you or the audience can answer anybody in the youtube channel who is answering this question later on will send you a prize if you let us know i'm going to ask you a question let's see if you can answer there's no marks here for this question just a academic question i will show you a place and you need to look at the place and tell the significance of the place you might have heard of it in your microbiology or biochemistry somewhere you might have heard of hot springs basilisk hot springs uh, it's a geo basilisk geothermal uh, geo basilisk uh, it's used in yes. spore removal uh, so that's clear and uh, pcr pcr also it's used. Yeah, yeah. now you are on the right direction we are looking at yellowstone national park tag polymerase how oh, yellow tag polymerase yellowstone. thermophilic u bacterium and like, thermosic yeah. well tried everything well tried you were in the right direction it's very interesting so before we go on to the round 3 i will ask the our scorers kanika and rakesh <laughs> first the scores at the end of round 2 the so team a is leading with 20 points team b 10 team c 10 team d 10 and e yet not open the count no It's worries it's a very closely fought team e, game back up back up so what we will now do is we have a next round which is very interesting we would again request all the participants to keep the hands in front of the camera so that you know nobody yes. complains later on you don't know the audience in the youtube when they will see you mm -hmm. they can see every bit of you they can dissect they zoom the images they look at your specs and, and they see the mirror image so you know you can't escape so be very clear no cheating please in the next round we'll look at a round called as connect in this round we will have again two sets of questions like one you five 10 questions five and another five and for each correct response you will get plus 20 okay if you identify the clues we'll give you 10 if you give the give us the final answer 10 no negative marking no passing 45 seconds scorekeepers 45 seconds is the time limit for this round yes ma'am okay and the quiz master decision will be final in this we will have two rounds five five questions and then two questions for the audience and uh, and the <laughs> participants in general so in the first uh, round we will i mean in the first section we will go from uh, team a to e and then we would go reverse right e to a okay are you ready now team, team a, a sir, to turn uh, on sir uh, is there any part marking for the clues means if there are four yes, clues yes, do we yes. get 2.5 marks no, no, for no, each no, no, no. Oh, uh, yes. if you tell all four clues we'll give you 10 if you tell the answer we'll give you 10 But, uh, but not part marking not for part. one one clue okay 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 so previously it was there <laughs> okay if we introduce it we will do it for all the teams yes. then okay we'll do Let's it for do all the okay so when we start okay. it will be a unanimous okay okay we'll do it for all the teams we we can keep okay. it now we request Only the team team a to turn on your cameras everyone else please turn it off and we need to see both your hands on the screen please thank you so much boys okay okay That's a nice way. When I tell the boys, they start doing their hair, right? So I'm able to see their, uh, you know, <laughs> faces also, and they want to look smart as well. Are you ready from the East Zone, from Medical College Kolkata and Midnapur Medical College West Bengal? Look at the now clues to connect in e. front of you. Pupil, pupil, face tone, pupil. Target तो ये लग जाए. Pupil, face tone, face tone, pupil. Scientist, scientist, scientist. आ सीसीआर इटा की एचआईवी एचआईवी बोल चने की एचआईवी सीसीआर सीडी4 सीसीआर5 हां एचआईवी एचआईवी रिसेप्टर सीसीआर5 ताले की की एचआईवी ते किंतु ये होय एचआईवी साइंटिस्ट ये होचे साइंटिस्ट साइंटिस्ट टू डिस्कवर एचआईवी साइंटिस्ट टू डिस्कवर एचआईवी मने आछे ना ना अरे किंतु ये जुएटा की मेलिग्नेंसी लागछे मेलिग्नेंसी ना मेलिग्नेंसी मासी कैकेक्सिया तो होय ये कैकेक्सिया हां हां तो कैकेक्सिया होबे और किछु मने आछे আর সাইন্টিস্টটা ও ডিসকভার করে সাইন্টিস্টটা কি দেখছে আও এ সাইন্টিস্টটা কি দেখছে আও টাইম আপ স্যার আমি জানি দেখছে আও টাইম আপ বলো দাও তিন বাক তিনটা তো শিওর ওকে बेटा নাও ফাইনাল आंसर টাইম बेटा ফাইনাল आंसर টাইম वी कांट गिव यू एनी मोर টাইম নাও यस স্যার স্যার ইমেজ নাম্বার 2 वी आर सेइंग दैट इट इज शोइंग ककेक्सिया uh okay. image number 3 the i we are seeing it is a uh, face tone pupil okay image number 3 we can see cd4 and ccr5 so uh, means uh, there is a uh, means a receptor could not bind it's uh, important for the hiv virus to enter and maybe uh, 
so this is a variant of uh, means hiv uh, aids we can see cachexia we can see pubular involvement maybe uh, maybe the scientist richa okay richa scientist richa bolo na scientist richa he is richa Uh, maybe uh, and uh, there is any mutation in CCR5 due to which uh, HIV virus could not enter and may uh, okay okay beta okay, uh, okay. atypical so, manifestation okay okay I think you got almost everything wrong the only no, thing no, that no, only no, thing no, that you got no, right no, was no. the name of the scientist definitely yes. the scientist is Rudolf Verkow but what is it that is connecting Verkow to rest of the images? Anybody from the audience or the participants now wants to tell? Only two point five marks. Two point five marks for the team, better. Two point five marks. Okay, Kanika. Are we giving then for individual? Yes. Clues? Okay. Okay. Two point five marks. Okay. For the yes. only one clue that they have identified. So we will give it to the other teams as okay. well. Okay. So the first image you can see is Rudolf Varshaw. Second image is showing you the shoulder pad sign. Yeah, it's not actually cachexia. It's a shoulder pad sign. You see the prominence of the shoulder pads. Yeah, the deltoid area is very prominent because of what? Do you know in a condition in which the deltoid area becomes prominent? Okay, and the third is the scalloped pupil. Abluxus. No scalloped pupil. Now that is not first two. The scalloped pupil. Which is seen in familial amyloid polyneuropathy, and what is the connecting dot? Amyloidosis. Between... Amyloidosis. Yeah, it's amyloid. Workhog right. gave the term amyloidosis, shoulder pad signs, scalloped pupil, enfuritide injection, ART related amyloidosis. You can identify the drug, but I think it's cherry is... on the yeah, top. It's just antiretroviral, but not related to HIV, right? Okay, so answer one. So only two point five marks they could get out of this one possible, but we try. Well done. Well done. Okay. So now we request team B. Now West Zone, Shloka Thakkar, Nishit, and Jenam to put on the cameras. There are we have very interesting image for you. Are you ready now to connect okay, the dots? Okay, I can see your hands. Perfect. Perfect. Are you ready? Let me put on the image for you. Connect the dots. Mr. Rajesh, number three. Bolo sign. Bolo sign. नहीं नहीं सी साफ़ोद लागे सर खबर नहीं ओके बेटा फाइनल आंसर बेटा फाइनल आंसर टाइम अप सर अब एक बार ही मीडिया स्टोरी कनेक्ट कर ही जाती होगा अच्छा चल तू समझे इमेज समझाए तो चल आई एम नॉट शर्ट यार आह सर फर्स्ट इमेज इस शोइंग एक्ने ओके द थर्ड इमेज इस शोइंग कैरेक्टरिस्टिक बोल्स हॉन अपीयर So, uh, final diagnosis would be like Sappho syndrome, sino sinusitis, uh, acne pustularis, hyperostosis, and uh, osteomyelitis. Sappho I syndrome. think I think oh, we can give you full twenty marks for this. Well, <laughs> we are definitely looking at Sappho, Very where well we have done. acne. You can see acne fulminance. You could see. Hyrenentis superba, bull's head sign in the sternoclavicular head. So actually, synovitis, acne, hyperosteosis, osteitis. Drug of choice is pemidronate. Involvement of bone, yes. joint, and skin. Right. Very well yes. done. So, uh, Shloka, you you should be more confident. Every time you give the correct answer, <laughs> she says, "No, I'm not very sure." You know. So yes. be confident. You're on the right track. Well done, both the team. We are proud of you. Now we'll request the team C now from Central Zone, Devesh, Devyan, Ame from State GS to put on the cameras. Show your hands. Rest of them can put off their cameras. Let us see a connect for you. Right, basic. 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 Basic.
Okay. Then the face is showing uh, uh, hemangiomas. Okay. Then there is an arterial coaptation of aorta, which is the arterial anomaly. Okay. Is I E is the uh, the third photo is the eye abnormalities. Okay. So I think we can give it to them. They get full 20 marks for this. They are correctly, they have identified the faces syndrome. You could see a posterior fossa malformation. There is a hemangioma visible, arterial abnormality, cardiac abnormality, eye abnormality, and the sternal defect. So that is the full form of faces and they got it right. They get full 20 marks. Well done. Yes. This round is going to prove the game changer, I think. So involvement of skin, brain, right, heart, major arteries and eyes of a child. Benign hemangiomas, that is what you see in it. Excellent. Well done. Full 20 marks to the team. Now we have a question to connect for Team D from North Zone. Devang Agarwal from Ames, Rishikesh, Vidhi Gupta, Tejas Sikri from AMC Delhi. Can Are you ready? Please, uh, okay. I want to see your hands on the screen, Bachas, everybody. Perfect. Are you ready? Okay, let me show you the connect now. Connect the images. Very good. Sir, but seizure, epilepsy, form discharge. I Huntington or oh, vomiting extra pyramidal <laughs> voltage gated calcium channel bana hmm. uh, to gaba benten ho sakti hai nahi sir wo hogi tardive dyskinesia wali vmat to inhibitor vmat second kya hai <laughs> sir long qt ho sakta hai wo oh. sir wo to nahi hai wo Sir, the first image is showing vomiting, the second is showing torsades day points, and fourth is showing Huntington's disease. And fifth is showing a migraine drug which acts on the voltage gated calcium channel. So these are all the utility and the side effects of this drug. Sir, Consi Bulna. Lunarizine. Yeah. Dihydroperidine. Yeah. What did you say as the second image, Bacha? Sir, uh, ma'am, your sage day points long cute uh, polymorphic. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, when, 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 when. so let's see the answer and then we'll see what we can give. Are you and... giving us a final connect? Are you Sir, us... drug bata voltage gate. Yeah. Uh, final connect kya hai bacha? So, why do you Due tetrabenazine, valbenazine. So, ma'am, due tetrabenazine, valbenazine. Okay, let's see the answer now. Let's see the answer. Then we see what we can give to you. The connect that we are looking for is drug induced Parkinson. secondary Parkinsonism, which you have not said. So, we cannot give you the 10 marks there. The first image was showing severe vomiting. You said that. Then we have VF due to metoclopramide. Huntington scoria, you mentioned, and you mentioned tetrabenazine. I think you mentioned. So we migraine and CCB also. We mentioned. Also migraine and CCB also mentioned. So I think we can give them seven point five marks. I think. Uh, so you know, uh, Ten also we can get because. No, but you didn't uh, tell the, the drug at all, right? Drug the drug was metoclopramide, and you know we are seeing more and more cases of metoclopramide induced uh, Parkinson's now. So they are saying specially to reduce the uh, drug dose uh, in patients with renal problems. But we gave two of these drugs. We gave tetrabenazine also and we also talked about CCBs and migraine. So yeah, no, that's, why we, that's why we, we are giving you the three marks. Uh, out of 10, we are giving you 7.5. Yeah, we are giving you seven. Oh. But the second wala was specially okay. for... So we are giving you 7.5 marks out of the 20 possible. So, I think now we can go to the team well done. E. South Zone, Sambhavi, Kulkarni, Sonat, Sachin, and Purnamita Saras from Madurai Medical College and Kempegoda Medical College. Are you ready to look at the next connect? Are you ready? Yes. 
Yes, sir. Okay, try to do this. Uh, that is angel vans. Uh, no, uh, Friedreich syndrome. That baby looks like elephant faces. I forgot which syndrome okay. is there. They are showing iris, and there is a heart. It looks like dwarf. Okay, there's dwarf. Butterfly. Uh, then, um, petrol jar. Allergy syndrome. Allergy syndrome. ஒரே <laughs> 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 um okay okay team e your time is up but what a final answer okay so so, so, so we are um, thinking of allagely syndrome the baby has okay. uh, triangular facies um, okay. and uh, this uh, the heart picture is showing a tetralogy of there is a ventricular septal defect and uh, tof um, okay. and uh, the butterfly he signifies the is hemi is uh, butterfly shaped hemi vertebra okay. and uh, it's um, well, uh, there is a cellularity increase in nephritis we go glomerular nephritis is there um i think it's normal no it's not normal okay i think it's normal only any okay i think uh, uh, the iris the iris is um, uh, there is a uh, defect okay 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 now i think what we can now tell you is that your connect is, is correct absolutely correct so you get, so you get plus 10 marks for the allagili syndrome there is a okay. typical facies you have but mentioned it correct, correct. So there is tetralogy of fallot is correct yes okay. butterfly vertebra butterfly is vertebra correct. is correct yes so out of you know four or five images you have given us three so there will give okay. you 7.5 okay right? you could see bile duct so uh, mentioned by uh, for the end answer glomerulus i think that's Uh, sir, I mentioned okay, bile duct also. There will be uh, biliary involvement. I said. I think you would discuss okay. it. Okay. Okay. I think we, I can, I okay. I think we can give you twenty marks. Okay. I think we can give you twenty marks. You have identified everything correctly only. Yeah, because so, the number of images were more in your case. Yes. The other people had four images. You had five. So, so we, we you... can give you full twenty marks, sir. Full twenty marks. Them. Well done. You have identified a tough one. Well done. Are you ready now? for a question for Team. all of you all of us okay reverse. okay now we'll go in the reverse order team yeah. e team e again okay team okay. e again hands on the screen bachas everybody perfect very good thank you this is a tough you. one but very interesting one let's, let's see, see if you, you can go ahead with are you ready now you have to think about what is connecting the four images that we are showing you identify each of them and what is common between them okay there are bulle in the lungs <laughs> 65 over hyper triglyceride yeah, triglyceride yeah. triglyceride type 3 yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, but the final answers, final answers, but the final answers for you from your side. Statin, statin is all one. Statin, statin, statin. Um, type, type, please, please. Sir, uh, sir, sir, it. Sorry, sorry. The biggest, ah, uh, the final diagnosis is um, type one hyper triglyceridemia, ah, uh, showing xanthoma. Second image, type one. Is What it, is the first image showing? You want to give us any answer regarding the uh, first? Image? First image. Second image. <laughs> Second image, the xanthoma deposition in okay, the tendon, okay, Achilles okay. tendon. Third image, third, third image. Like a red, cherry red spot. Okay. Um, Any cause you can tell here on the third image, cherry red spot. Um, cause. Causes of ASX. Neiman pick. Uh, okay. Neiman pick is having triglyceride uh, levels are increased in Neiman pick, okay, and uh, fourth, image. fourth image is some inclusion bodies. Uh, um, this is inclusion. Okay. Any connect? Uh, I think you already said the connect. So what we'll do? 
uh, what is your connect neeman pick this says or sorry okay. try okay okay so are you giving us a final connect because we don't have the final connect what is common to all these that you have seen yes ma'am neeman pick in the body swaro yes um neeman pick pick disease uh, having this um, glo glo globoid inclusions in neeman pick uh, with uh, cherry red spot and uh, Okay, now, okay, okay, okay. I think now we'll see the answer and understand. So you got something right and a lot of things wrong. Your connect is wrong, so there is no marks in the connect. These are all individual. But uh, look at the first yeah, image. Diseases. The first image was about cystic fibrosis. This is the problem. second image was a tendon xanthoma that due to familial hypercholesteremia. Third image was a cherry red spot due to test sex. You mentioned baby. correctly. Fourth image was alpha one antitrypsin deficiency. These are all diseases caused by misfolded proteins. Okay. So I think you got two of them okay. correct. So we can give okay. you five marks. Plus five. For Plus five marks. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Well done. <laughs> well tried. Good mind-boggling discussions between you all. Okay. So team D, not so in Bachas, Devang, Vidhi, and Tejas. Can you please turn on your cameras? perfect thank you and your hands on the camera for the next connect let me show you the image on your screen now connect the dots are you sir anti sir anti synthetase bolne sir ek seek mein muscle that is a muscle ka hai sir wo khas theek se dikh nahi raha mai sir mechanic center a mein i sir ye dermatomyositis hi bol rahe hain for trans papule mechanic hand दिवान सर ये आप ही बोलो हम सर Uh, the uh, images are somewhat very strong hyperparesis sir aapki awaaz aa rahi hai devang beta aapki awaaz aa rahi hai beech beech okay han ji uh ma'am the last images of mechanics and the oh. thermometer image is showing hyperparesis uh, okay. the uh, third image is showing some muscular uh, muscle uh, muscle septum involvement uh, second very image is showing some hand atrophy uh, is it might be due to carpal tunnel syndrome or something it's showing hand atrophy uh, not sure about a and uh the fourth image might be showing some clubbing or not sure or so not sure synosis ha uh, what uh, mechanics hand what is what is your connect what is your connect what is and the connect acha and what did you say for the third image devang man i is going muscle compartment involvement perimyceal inflammation okay okay, okay. so I think uh, plus ten definitely you get plus ten for definitely for connect. connect very We're well done. We are looking at anti synthesis. Mm -hmm. oh. A was ILD. You did not mention it. Second is Renault I phenomena. ILD. Not third not is uh, myositis. You mentioned it partially. I think anti synthesis. Okay. Yes. Then non erosive arthritis fever. You mentioned and mechanics. And did you you were you had mentioned? So I think we'll give anti JO anti JO one antibody is there. So I think if we look at the combination, three, we can give seventeen point five. Yes, three seventeen point five. Seventeen point five for the images and ten for the connect. So well done. Because we have lots one. of images, and you answered, you know, three of them absolutely correct. So we correct. can give you seventeen point five here. Okay, well done. Well done, well, well done, team. Well done, sir. So half of the images are correct. So it would be sir fifteen because Reynolds phenomena, ILD, and inflammatory myositis were mentioned. No, no, no. Most of but I think the they said myositis also images, in partially. Six. Actually, they had mentioned the myositis also partially that muscle inflammation or something because yes. on MRI this is. We had said about the perimyceal inflammation, which is yes. characteristic of. So they did mention it. They did. Yeah. They did. So they were they were kind of correct in that direction. In the so. fourth one also, so that's. Yeah. That's why seventeen. So seventeen point five we are giving to them. Now for the next question, I want the team from C, C Central Zone, from Bache? Saint GS Medical College, Devesh, Devyan, Ame to put on their cameras. Please turn on your hand. cameras. I can see your hands. Well done, boys. You have a very easy one now. You know you're lucky right now. Let's see if you can answer it now. <laughs> Ready, steady, go. Let's go. 
They are saying, sir said, it's easy, but it's easy. Darius, Darius, Darius. Competition and inquiry through mission week, supervisor split. So that you want to get it back to the whole Darius. Sir, uh, Final collect will go for Darier's disease. Okay. First is the, I'm assuming, Darier who discovered okay. the disease. <laughs> Second is dirty, warty, greasy papules seen in seboric areas. Okay. Okay. Third is uh, longitudinal leukonychia, erythronychia, and V shaped nicks can be seen. Okay. And fourth is uh, it affects the mainly stratum spinosum. So there will be corp rons, corp, rain, corp grains, and disc keratosis with suprabasal splits. Kya baat hai? Kya baat hai? They Chha get full 20 marks for answering everything correctly. We are looking at Darius disease. Excellent boy. First man was Ferdinand, Darius, Corpse Rounds, Seboric Dermatitis they mentioned, everything V-shaped they mentioned. they mentioned, everything. Hyperkeratosis was mentioned, ATP 2A2 gene, Circa uh, pathway, autosomal dominant inheritance. Excellent. So these are the key words that you need to know about Darius disease. They got almost so everything right. Full 20 marks. Full 20 marks for them. Team B, Bache Vesun, can you please turn on your cameras? Thank you so much. Okay. From Shloka Thakkar, Nishid, Jainam, BJMC, Ahmedabad and GMC Surat. I have a very interesting question for you. I am sure you should be able to tell us. Let's so whenever see. things like this come, Dr. Sumer gets very excited. Are you ready? The usual things. Ready? On your marks. Connect the images. Telush, Phono, Majapulagas. Body. Three triangle. Many in Jumma. Are you NF2? Oh, very good bodies. Uh, second is huh? CP angle for human. Huh? CP angle for human. Men in your dural detail sign, but I was very good bodies. Huh? Uh, uh, but NF2 is uh, bilateral. Tell against. No, no, the NF2 is not. But I are jo last image se pehlo thai gyo na miss me multiple inherited schwannoma meningioma ha but I miss me is the second name for nf2 nahi 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 time up yes, what's the fourth I... image last image is pehli uh, ependioma batao is the fourth uh, okay fourth ha fine fine, fine go for it okay Okay, Bachas, we want to okay, hear your, your final answers ma'am first first image uh, it looks like a schwannoma uh, okay. Antenna, Antin B, and Veruca bodies. Okay. Uh, second mm -hmm. image shows a tumor at the CP angle. So, possibly it, it's a uh, acoustic neuroma. Okay. Then um, the third image shows dural mm -hmm. tail sign. So, meningioma. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, next next image, guys. You want to try? Mm. And next image, electron microscopic bata or something. And the last mm -hmm. image is Junction. Ke okay. I think we oh. have to give it to you all. I think they connect. Is, is the connect also? Are you wanting what, to tell us the connect? connect? What is the connect? Miss me syndrome. Miss me syndrome. Miss me. Yeah. Miss yes. Me. Multiple I, inheritance. I, I think we can give it to them. Full Nobody 40 marks. Nobody miss you from this. So uh, we are definitely <laughs> looking at miss me. <laughs> miss me. Multiple inherited meningioma, <laughs> schwannoma, <laughs> ependymoma, <laughs> NF2 syndrome. Veruke body, Sonoma. You mentioned ependymoma. You did yes, mention yes, when yes, we were discussing. Yes, yes. I so, think she went. So we can give them full 20 marks. Very good. Full you could 20. see the ependymoma of the fourth ventricle in the last image. Team B, excellent. Well done, beta. Full 20 marks. Okay. Team A, East Zone. Can you please turn on your cameras? And I would want to see your hands on the screen, please. Both the hands, bachas. Okay. Again, a very easy question for the East Zone Only team. Take the egg. Aniket, Sayas, yes, Mayuk, Midnapur Medical College, Medical College, Calcutta. Are you ready now? Look at the images and connect them. Okay, boys. She got a fish poisoning. Right? Hmm. 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 Like she got a fish poisoning. 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 Like she got a fish Eighty eighty mercury, yeah, mercury, fish, but sulfate, 
हां बोल जी पहले मैं सर सर दिस इज ये सर मरकरी पॉइजनिंग वी कैन कनेक्ट और मे बी मीनामाटा डिजीज आल्सो बिकॉज़ सर वी कैन सी द मैड हैटर क्लासिकल मैड हैटर द हैंड शोस इरिथिमा देयर इज फाइलोरिया eating the salmon fish it was uh, reported in japan that uh, in minamata that eating the fish cause, caused toxicity due to mercury ingestion the mercury uh, uh, that was a organic compound that is shown of mercury and 80 i think uh, number of mercury atomic number no? molecular and uh, antidote is bio sulfate ha antidote yeah, is yeah, sulfate yeah. I think I I think we have to give you full twenty marks. We're definitely looking at mercury toxicity, pink disease, tylism, mad as a hatter, neurological changes due to mercury, swar swordfish, highest level of mercury among the fish. I think you were almost on yeah, Gable, on track for everything. Getting all the answers correct. So we can so well give done. you the correct answer so is mercury toxicity, and you get full twenty marks. So I think all the teams have gotten two questions. Any team that we missed, or everybody has gotten two questions. All have gotten two questions. Two questions. Everybody. Okay. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So now what we'll do is because you have all gotten two questions, we can play a game of uh, <laughs> plus ten marks. Now I'll show you two or three more connects. You can put all of your cameras up and. Uh, it will be difficult but we'll try our best uh, or maybe you can have one spokesperson for each team yeah first each team uh, tell us one spokesperson from your and team rest of them can put off the cameras only team, one person team remain on a what is uh, who is your uh, spokesperson team Sir, a if the spokesperson uh, pounces and we can help there after he gets the if he says team a then it's reserved for team a then we can add on to it Yeah, that possible? that we can that okay, we can only do. only okay. the connect we will need. We don't need the yeah. We just need final we need connect. The we don't need connect. all images. Just the final Aniket, connect. Aniket, sir, Aniket Bose from our. Aniket, okay. Aniket, so Aniket yeah. keep the camera on, and rest of you can just switch okay. off the cameras. So Aniket can simply say Team A, and we know that it's answering. So Team B, who is the spokesperson from your team? Team B, bacha. हाँ हाँ हो जाएगा हो जाएगा. Ma'am, I'll be I'll be I'll be taking it. Okay. Perfect. Shloka. Shloka. Yeah, Rest right. Rest of you can switch off the cameras. Team C, I think you are all together only. So, so one person will be in the middle. Rest who can switch off. Who is the speaker off. from Team C? Same one, Devesh. Okay, Devesh. D. Team D, who is the speaker from your team, Bacha? Ma'am, I will be the spokesperson. Uh, Devang, who is the spokesperson? Or Tejas. Uh, Tejas, Tejas, Tejas. Okay, Tejas is the spokesperson. Okay, so they want to switch off the camera and South Zone. Somebody. Sir, my sir, Purnamita Saras. Okay, okay, very good. Okay, Bacha, Purnamita. Okay. Fine. So Ma'am, just... is there any negative marking for this round? Okay, I mean, so this... we we are just no negative marking. Uh, just feel free. Plus ten marks to be gotten if you bounce and answer correctly. Or okay, sir. No, no, one no, message. Then everybody bounce. Bounce to my uh, teammate. Uh, okay, okay there will be negative, there will be negative yes, mark wait. plus ten minus ten plus ten minus ten. Let us make okay minus five. Doctor Deepthi is saying ten okay, is too much. So final rules are plus ten. So if you uh and minus five. So if you say team A but you are unable to give the connect, then we will say minus five for you. Okay. Suppose team B says but they are unable to give, then minus five for them, right? So that's how it goes. Are I... the rules clear to everyone? Plus ten, minus five. You bounce. You need to answer. Okay. Can we show you Sir, the? Sir, can I give a message to our spokesperson? Do you want to give yeah. it right away? Yes, sir. Hey, Aniket, the uh, meeting time, meeting time. The activity is. I am going to discuss for a bowl of the water. Okay, sir. Please, sir. What I connect that. Okay, sir. It's done. All right. So we are going to show you uh, the connect. Image. Okay. Ready? Okay. You just need to tell us the connect. Yeah. Are you ready? Okay. 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 Ready. 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 Uh -huh. Sir, uh, North North Team D. Okay, Team D. Now you have pounced. Now you can discuss and give us the final answer. Team D. Mm -hmm. Sir, this is the hoax of uh, anthrax letter. The first image here, and these only are all the only the connect we need. We just need the connect. Sir, bio terror agent ka bolu group category hai bio category hai bio terror. They are saying that these are all bio WHO ki agents. Do you think you are correct, Tejas? Do you think you are correct? And because the pro mask is plague, and this is 
and yes. drugs and absolutely correct absolutely, absolutely correct definitely you're looking at anthrax botulism plaque and smallpox these are all bioterrorism Perfect. agents so plus very good 10 score keep plus 10 marks plus 10 marks plus 10 known. very good are you ready now next one bachas okay ready get set go no again we need the connect only no, you, yeah just, just connect, connect okay. nothing else connect 10 identify the drug I think we heard B B B B C D no B B B was B was the first. I think yeah. Can I answer? Yes, beta. Yes, beta. A drug is ivermectin. All she is saying the drug is ivermectin, and she is absolutely correct. Plus ten marks for team B. Excellent. Discovered by Japanese scientist Satoshi Omara for onchocerciasis, nodding head syndrome, rhabdiform larva of strongylitis. Scabies mite, cutaneous larva migrants. I think they got she got all of it so correct at one go. 10, plus 10 B, marks. B. Excellent, plus 10 marks. Shloka, very well done. Scorekeepers, please give plus 10 to team B. Okay, just one more connect on the buzzer. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Everyone... I, I am sure you can feel the sir, heart. Sir, one minute, sir. I am becoming the spokesperson mm -hmm. because he is nice. having problem yeah. in his mic. Uh, okay, Bayuk, are you the spokesperson now for your team? Yes, sir. All yes, sir. right. See, Bachas, just go be bolna, you have to just mention your team instead of your name. Just say A, B, like Shloka did right now. Okay? Perfect. So get set, go now, get ready. Okay, ready? Okay. I'm showing you the. You have to look at some adverse effects and tell us the drug responsible for that. Please. Please. Okay. Team? team C, did That's I hear team. you right? Team C. Penicillamine. Team C is saying penicillamine. Let us nephropathy. So they, we can see de novo. MG elastosis yeah, perforans. Membranous glomerulonephritis, a plastic anemia. Absolutely correct. Team C gets plastic. full 10 marks. Well done, beta. Well done. So nobody got a minus and that was great. So can we have these scores at the end of this uh, round, please? Round three? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, team A is 42.5. Okay. Team B, 60. Team C, 60. Wow. And team D, 45. Very and good. team E is 25. Very good. So it's a close match still. So, very good. A, B, C, D and E. So, let's move on to the next round, round four. In the next round, we will have a very interesting round called as the house round. In this, we will have some clinical cases. We will go from A to E. Then we'll go to E to A again. And plus, we'll have some audience questions as well. Now, in this question, if you get a correct answer, you'll get 20 marks. No negative marking. Two questions will be asked. No Time passing. limit, one minute. No passing. Okay, ready? Time limit, please note, is one minute, scorekeepers. Yes, right. ma'am. Okay. So, the first case that we will show is for team A. I will ask Aniket, Sayak and Mayuk from Kolkata and Midnapur to put on the camera. We would want to see both your hands, Bachas. And everybody else Thank can switch so off much. the cameras and the mics. Are you ready to go and become the next house MD? Let me show you the first case. Take your time to read it. You have full one minute. Okay. I will show you the question and the image also. Just, you know, look at the question first. Abhi time nahi shudu karo. Wait, we'll show you the question. Okay. These are the rules. 20 marks, two questions. Your time starts now. now 80 year old male, neurology OPD, uncontrolled hypertension, main complaint using left arm and hand started using two years ago, gradually progressed. He had pain when he tried to use it, lost control over it, uses phrase, it has a life of its own, mobility dis deteriorated markedly, masked facial expression, apraxia of the left upper limb, myoclonus. I will show you the imaging and the histopath. You have to tell us the Diagnosis. So please see the image. MSM on a checky multi systemic atrophy. Not on a good ball. 
एट्रोफी अच्छे ओके सो दिस दिस इज द रेडियोलॉजी लिसन टू मी फर्स्ट रेडियोलॉजी अरे एटा एटा माइक ऑफ कर रे भाई ये तो मेन डिस्कशन कर ओके सो दिस इज योर इमेज दिस इज योर इमेज टॉनिक के टॉनिक के गिव द कैन इट बी फिक्स्ड इन दिस ना ना आरु फ्रेंड देखे ना देखे ना तू की की पॉइंट्स बोल चीज़ फिक्स है जो ना फ्रंटो टेम्पोरल डिमेंशिया होते हैं किंतु ग्रेजुअल प्रोग्रेस लाइफ पेन इज़ लाइफ ऑन इट्स ओन मे बी पिक्स ना ना आर क्या नो क्या नो बोल चीज़ फ्रंटो फ्रंटो टेम्पोरल देखते हैं बच्चे फ्रंटो टेम्पोरल 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 ही कॉटिको बेसिकल सीबीडी नो टाइम इज ओवर सर ओके बेटा फाइनल आंसर फाइनल आंसर टाइम बेटा ओपा सीबीडी आई थिंक सीबीडी फाइनल आंसर टाइम बेटा बी द हाउस एमडी नाउ फाइनल आंसर सीबीडी माने टा की फुल फॉर्म टा जानो कॉटिको वेसिकल डिजेनरेशन सीबी वेसिकल डिजेनरेशन सर बेसिलर बेसल गैंगलिया तो होते माने फीचर आई थिंक पिक्स आई थिंक पिक्स ए बेटा गिव अस द फाइनल आंसर बेटा गिव अस द फाइनल आंसर दे टू दे Sir, we'll go for peak disease. They are saying peak disease. Unfortunately, we cannot give it to you. So no marks for you, but I want to show you the answer. Answer was cortical. Hey, brother, brother, you keep on saying that you peak disease. Alien limb phenomena, limb apraxia, myopia. I'm talking about CVD. What kind of peak disease? It was asymmetric parietal and perirolandic atrophy on the MRI. Histopath was showing ballooned neurons. and all the hints were there in the history i was again and again going back to the history so that you can see the alien limb phenomena limb apraxia and myoclonus in the history mentioned in the question itself you might have lost 20 marks here but you know it so i am very proud of you and excellent so just back up and keep going strong boys so you were in the right direction you were in the right direction okay so we we'll, let's ask the team b now Team B, West Zone, Shloka, Nishad, and Jenam from Ahmedabad and Surat. If you can just put on your camera, I will show you some images and some history and some clues together. You just need to give us the answer. Final diagnosis. Ready? Okay. Ready? Okay. Your time starts now. Thirty-year-old female presented with beefy red rash over the ear. Nasal stuffiness, rhinorrhea, epistaxis, oligoarthritis, chest pain, scleritis, hoarseness, non-productive cough, tenderness over the larynx, anti-matrilin one antibody plus. Any idea? It's very. Uh, मैजिक सिंड्रोम असे बेशट साथ असोसिएटेड इन्फ्लेमेटरी कॉन्ड्राइटिस बाकी बेशट ना फीचर्स पण एमा एंटीबॉडी एम नॉट श्योर बी जो काही फिट ना साथ अमा जो इमेज मा सु लाइक फेस वाला इमेज मा सु लाइक रिलैक्सिंग कॉन्ड्राइटिस जो लागे छे रिलैक्सिंग कॉन्ड्राइटिस जो हां हां कॉन्ड्राइटिस तो छे एंड रिलैक्सिंग कॉन्ड्राइटिस जो छे बट वी वांट योर फाइनल आंसर वी वांट योर फाइनल आंसर बेटा बोली फाइनल आंसर बेटा फाइनल आंसर टाइम आप रिलैक्सिंग कॉन्ट्राइटिस रिलैक्सिंग कॉन्ट्राइटिस दे आर सेइंग फाइनल आंसर इज रिलैक्सिंग रिलैक्सिंग कॉन्ट्राइटिस रिलैक्सिंग कॉन्ट्राइटिस व्हिच इज एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट फुल मार्क्स फुल 20 मार्क्स वी आर लुकिंग एट रिलैक्सिंग पॉलीकॉन्ट्राइटिस ऑरिकुलर कॉन्ट्राइटिस आर्थराइटिस नेजल कॉन्ट्राइटिस ऑक्युलर इन्फ्लेमेशन ट्रैकियोब्रॉकल इन्वॉल्वमेंट seen in 55% of the patients absolutely correct full 20 marks very well done so that's 20 marks for team b team c are you ready bachas are you ready yes yes ma'am so right. i will show you a clinical history then i'll show you a radio a pathology histopathology right? image and then you have to give the answer so just uh, you know give the give have some patience before you answer team c from mumbai let me show you the question now a 46 year old man comes to emergency with two week history of diarrhea nausea abdominal pain and weakness he reported weight loss 8 kg in preceding two months sexually active serum creatinine 2.4 mg per deciliter hiv positive viral load 
one one four one to one copies per ml cd for two cells per millimeter cube despite fluid resuscitation renal function worsened renal biopsy was performed have you gone through the history should we show you the images so and we did a pathology and the kidney biopsy shown to you look at the diagnosis and give us the diagnosis and the treatment okay history and the biopsy, renal biopsy, you can see here. Sexually active patient, weight loss, HIV positive, creatine is high, renal function worsened, biopsy is shown to you. And this is the biopsy. Sir, uh, we will go with, uh, this is... Severe variety of FSGS known as collapsing glomerulopathy seen in HIV and other infections like COVID for okay. It's a treatment based. So is that your final answer? Any treatment idea as well? Heart therapy will go on plus steroids maybe we can add in addition. Time is up, sir. Time is up. Unfortunately, we cannot give you any marks here. This is not the correct answer. Anybody from the teams or, or the audience on the YouTube who wants to answer and tell us, uh, anybody wants to answer? Any in the other team? team who wants to answer? It's a very interesting question. HIV is always asked in need PG. HIV is a sure shot question in every need PG exam. So this is HIV related disease. Always think of opportunistic infections and you give an Can idea. You think now if we talk about opportunistic infections? Ma'am, he gone. Anyone HIV else? associated Okay, so, let's... so the final answer that we have with us is we are looking at renal cryptococcus and the treatment was IV liposomal amphotericin plus flucytosine. Okay, I think it was a tough one, but well tried. But every time they keep asking a new question on HIV, HIV is something that you should all go deep on. Common things are commonly asked. Competitive exams have a 80-20 principle. 80% 80 of the paper is 20% of the topics. HIV, TB, road traffic accidents are top of the line in those 20% topics. Okay. Next so question, team four. Team D, not soon. Bachi, are you ready? Turn on your cameras, hands on the screen. Great. Again, you will have some question and images. Then you can give so the we'll final. first show you the question and then we'll show you the image. Okay, give me just one second. Let me organize everything. Okay. So your time starts now. 51-year-old woman, history of acute lymphoblastic leukemia, cough, pleuritic pain, persisted for three days, no fever, has undergone bone marrow transplant three months previously, GVHD had developed, for which he was receiving treatment with cyclosporin and glucocorticoids. LPCV mount of BAL sample was done and you have two images to see. One CT scan, one bronchoalveolar lavage. You have to give us a diagnosis based on what you can see. This is the image and this is your history. Leukemia, bone marrow transplant. sir, steroid or Sir, can you just show us uh, this? Sir, but um, immunosuppressed by Kaskar, ALL. But Final you, answer. Sir, uh, invasive aspergillosis. Okay, they're saying invasive aspergillosis. So, we cannot Can give you, you the answer. That's something that we always tell you not to do. Can you go, tell me what always go with your first, first instinct? instinct. Sir, you you reverse hello sign, bird nest appearance, immunocompromised patient. Never change your answer. We had to Pages. think of pulmonary mucormycosis, amphotericin B, osacotazole. You will have another chance. Surgical deprivation of the affected tissue. 
zygomycetes order mucorals reverse hello sign was seen on the cd but i'm sure this is a lesson learned do not change your answers okay so no no, no marks thing. for you here no marks well done but team okay so team e are you ready bachcha south zone please turn on your cameras okay, okay beta south zone now we have a little tough question for you so will be soft on the time also just see the question and there are some images to be looked at okay ready yes sir okay your time starts now beta 8 year old boy presented with subcutaneous nodules associated with one week history of fever two months after starting treatment for relapsing b cell leukemia he had pan cytopenia for 57 days the lab studies are shown to you fever persisted despite initiation of broad spectrum iv antibiotic treatment one week later subcutaneous nodules developed physical examination shows nodules 5 to 18 mm in chest back arms and legs and we have some images to show you there is some image clinical image some you know microscopic images you need to just tell us the organism treatment if you tell us two more molds which cause fungemia and isolated from blood culture will be very happy uh sir uh since i don't know with the i think uh isn't it immunocompromised i think it could be one of the uh opportunistic infections because he was uh, time is up sir time is up you don't need infection that uh, second slide is yes. that uh, histopath it looks like some microconidia uh, of uh -huh. um, epidermophytes just identify the know? organism and the treatment फ्रॉम द लाइपोसोमलोटेरिसन बी Alternia, Lomentospora, Cicadosporium are the other molds that can cause fungemia and isolated from blood culture. Okay. So unfortunately, we cannot give you any marks here. But we well go tried. To, well tried. We go to now. I think we can go in the same order again. Team E. So that will be your second question now. Are you ready, Bachas? So we'll have yes, one sir. more clinical question for you with some images. We'll show you the question first, and then the image, and the rules remain the same. Okay, beta, ready? Okay. Look at the question now. Twenty-six-year-old man presented with two months history of nausea, abdominal pain, yellowish discoloration, developed high-grade fever with chills, worsening pruritus over past five days. On examination, febrile scleral icterus, epigastric tenderness, no guarding or no organomegaly. ALP AST ALT values are shown to you on the screen. Very Lab healthy. levels are also given but Market total period. protein to albumin is normal. INR is 2.23. Viral hepatitis panel uh, ANA okay. negative. CCT chest and abdomen shows a hilar and retroperitoneal lymph nodes. Biopsy from the nodes shows Hodgkin's lymphoma and there is a image for you. Look at the image and give us the diagnosis. okay look at the image i go back to the history image history there is lymphadenopathy there is hodgkins lymphoma viral hepatitis panel ana is negative there is icterus there is pruritus can you guess the answer Primary, uh, biliary cirrhosis. Time is up, sir. Eight weeks, neither. Right. I just go with it. 
ओके बेटा फाइनल आंसर फ्रॉम योर साइड बेटा फाइनल आंसर एनी आंसर बेटा टीम ई डू यू वांट टू गिव द आंसर बच्चे आर यू देयर और द कनेक्शन इज लॉस्ट सर ऑटोमेटिक ऑटोमेटिक अपरेटिस वी डोंट नो ऑटो Unfortunately, that is not the correct answer. We cannot give you any marks just for the sake of academics. Anybody in the audience or in the participants wants to give an answer or try? Uh, vanishing bile duct syndrome. Absolutely oh, correct, Vita. Oh, Devang, what oh, Devang answered it wow, rightly. Okay. Very good. This Excellent. is vanishing bile duct syndrome. There is total paucity of ducts. No ischemic changes. Increased BR enzymes with no change in protein. and the causes are written in front of you we are looking at vanishing bile duct syndrome nobody gets any marks here but the question was very interesting we are happy that you tried and one of you actually answered as well for the next question i'll request the team d from north zone devang agarwal vidhi gupta tejas ma'am c and aims rishikesh to put on the cameras are you ready and your hands at the camera we are going to show you a image and there will be some history two page history then the answer will come okay so, so we might not read out everything but it will be on your screen right fifth so, but our time will start after you have read the question okay don't worry we, yes. we will be uh, you know easy on the time 50 year old gentleman presented with nausea vomiting abdominal pain for two weeks 3 to 4 days later he developed pain severe pain numbness tingling starting from hand and feet progressing to all extremities along with motor weakness that started from the lower limbs eventually progressed to involve the upper nahi sir thallium isliye lag raha hai kyunki wo bhi cause of the complaints of painless low bl visual blurring 3 to 4 days he has hair loss and visual patches yellow color blindness hoti hai wo On examination findings are given skin is tender to ah, red green color is sir we have an answer What Allium is poison. They are saying the final answer is it's because it. What do you say, Doctor Deepthi? I think uh, the boys have got, done a good job. We should give them full marks. Full marks for them. Full ten marks, I think. Ten marks. Ten marks. Twenty. 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 Again, we'll have only one page, one image, and a page for Team C from Mumbai, say GSK Medical SKM Hospital, Devesh Devyan. I mean, are you there? Yes. Ready? The boys are ready. And I'll ask Doctor Deepthi to read out. I'll show you the question now on the screen. Okay, so we have a sixteen-year-old female with Burkitt's lymphoma, and she's presenting with an abdominal mass and multiple enlarged uh, mediastinal lymph nodes. You start her on uh, steroids and TLS prophylaxis, but two days later she develops SOB, sudden onset of breath, shortness of breath. Uh, we've given you her vitals. Uh, the saturation is seventy five percent. The chest is clear on auscultation. X ray is normal. ABG analysis is presented to you. ECG shows sinus tachycardia. What is the cause of presentation of this patient and the treatment? there is an image also that is provided to you please look at the image and yes. the question both of them the together the have to be connected she is a woman with burkitt's lymphoma and you start her on steroids tls prophylaxis mm -hmm. two days later there is shortness of developing certain symptoms chest x ray is normal chest is clear something is shown to you ecg shows the sinus tachycardia what is the cause of presentation And can you tell where from where that sample is taken? Can I tell what? The sample in the picture is what? So like where? The... I I think it looks like a blood sample, but yes, let's see. Yes. Yes. Or, or maybe you know. Blood sample with some colors, maybe. I, actually, we are also not very sure what it is. That's sure. what it looks like, maybe. <laughs> or focus on the history as well. look at the presentation shortness of breath a normal x ray chest saturation ko dekho abg ko dekho ecg ko dekho aur dekho aur jaldi bolo sab kuch dekho aur time is up time is up can we have the answer now beta 
team C. Ma'am, differentiation should be done. Do you want to commit an answer? No. There's no negative marking. Differentiation should be much. I don't no, think we can give you any marks correct. here. Anybody, Anybody from the participants or the audience wants to give answer. But can anyone else try and answer? So it okay. is to do something that for, for lymphoma, she's getting some therapy, some prophylaxis, and then develop shortness of it. We have to think of raspberry-case induced methemoglobinemia. There is chocolate brown color blood, low SpO2, metabolic acidosis, acidosis. and the treatment is Supplemental oxygen and IV methylene blue. blue. So this was the question, and it was very interesting one. So you know, um, you know, you could very well because every year we see when we, uh, you know, when we take questions in a gray matter quiz, somewhere down the line they do come in the entrance exams. Maybe I and I said maybe need PTs, and, and these are the key things. And you might have noticed the questions are not at the easy level, we because you are all the winners from yes. the preliminary round. And you have won in your zones and now you've reached to the finale. That is why we have kept the questions at a good level. So, you know, learn to identify these keywords, connect them together and then reach the answer. But well tried. We'll move on to the next team, which is going to be... be West Zone, Shloka, Nishit and Jenna. Team B. Ahmedabad, I... Surat, please put on your cameras. Your hands on the screen. I think, okay, ready. Where is Shloka? Shloka okay. is there. There okay. she is. So okay. we'll show you the question. There will be two slides. So there will be one image also. Then you can give the answer. Okay. This is a 25-year-old man presented with swelling on the left side of neck since six months. Last one month also developed episodes of attacks of anxiety, headache, diaphoresis, palpitation, tachycardia. Ophthalmology and oral cavity examination is shown to you in the next slide. What is the diagnosis and what finding do you expect in the GIT of this patient? Okay, so this is the ophthalmological and oral uh, cavity uh, exam. Hello, guys, men, 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 uh, 2A, 2B. Men syndrome, chain, mucosal ganglion neuroma. FIO, marfanoid. Mucosal ganglion neuroma, medullary thyroid. To be, to be, man, to be. Huh. Sure, na? Okay. Fine. And GID ma? To be, ma, so thai. PO, medullary, gastrinoma. Gastrinoma, Zollinger, uh, gastrinoma. Neuroma is ganglion, and neuroma is. Most common. Okay, fine. Gastrinoma. No, no, gastrinoma is man one. Gastrinoma is man one. But rare case, ma? Final answer, better. Final answer. When go with gastrinoma, it's okay. Sir, the diagnosis is meant to be meant to be Gordon syndrome. I guess time is up. Okay. So I think we can give it to yes, them. It is correct answer. We are looking at meant to be. Noka was and... on the right uh, track right from the beginning. This is meant to be very well done. Yes. And uh, can you tell us one more thing that the question asked? Uh, expected... uh, Harshman, 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 Mega Colon. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. 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 We well are done, looking well at meant done. to be myelinated corneal nerves, <laughs> mucosal neuromas, intestinal ganglion neuromas, toxic Mega Colon, constipation, red gene, chromosome 10Q, full marks to them. Well Excellent. done. Excellent. Well done, Nishid. Well done, the entire team. So, plus 20 for team B. Team A, can you please turn on your cameras, your hands on the screen and get set ready? A tough question, but very likely to be asked tough in the upcoming INI state. Very bright students. So, okay. let's see. And this is the final question of this round for the team A. Aniket Bose, Sayak Bhattachara, Mayu Khara from Medical College, Kolkata and Midnapur. Are you on the screen? All set to okay, go. Okay, I'm going to read out the question for you. And there are, there's just one slide. So, a 76-year-old lady with diabetes, hypertension, hypothyroid, chronic kidney disease, stage 5. She is on hemodialysis. And she is presenting with increased sleepiness, decreased oral intake and intermittent non-responsiveness. Her labs have been given to you, right? So look at the sodium levels. Uh, sensor, uh, you know, her sensorium improved over 24 hours, but while discharging the patient, she hey. developed tremors and mutism. A repeat sodium value is also given 
uh, and that leads to a readmission. NCCT did not show any infarct, bleed or pontine change. MRI brain is done but showed no pontine changes as well. So, what is the likely cause of her current altered sensorium? And what are the most common sites to look for this pathology? Disequilibrium syndrome on earth due to hemodialysis. Part of it কেনোলাইসিসিকুইলিব্রাম ওটাতেই যাচ্ছি তাই তো শোর সায়ক তোর কিছু মনে হচ্ছে ডিসিকুইলিব্রিয়াম Uh, means uh, in correction of hyponatremia there is a uh, rapid fluid shift that leads to uh, maybe paralysis uh, paralysis cerebral altered edema sensorium. and altered sensorium and uh, most uh, common sites uh, we would uh, see is that uh, we would see the brain and kidney function uh, kidney function could be impaired mainly brain brain edema could be seen unfortunately that is not the answer we have we'll look at the answer uh, let's see then we'll decide so very categorically we have mentioned the sodium value and we have also mentioned that there are no pontine changes because we want you to know that if there is hyponatremia you have the electrolyte imbalance you have possibility of pontine uh, central pontine myelinolysis mm -hmm. but the pons changes are not there so the question is can you have myelinolysis osmotic myelinolysis in the extra pontine as well the answer is yes the correct answer is extra pontine myelinolysis that is why the pons was written as normal maximum correction of sodium should be 8 to 10 millimole for 24 hours and the sites that we were looking were ventrolateral thalamus basal ganglia cerebellum external capsule lgb splenium of corpus callosum hippocampus you were on the right track sir mainly it's a uh, because of bolam, sir, the rapid correction is one yeah but it's with really that, yes but uh, you only were talking about the pathogenesis we are looking for the diagnosis and the sites so the sites were also not mentioned and the diagnosis was also not mentioned that's what i said that the track was right uh you were thinking of rapid correction but we needed yeah. the diagnosis so right partial marking anything <laughs> uh, in this round we don't have partial marking. Mayuk, uh, so beginner, what we can do is But I'm to, sure we'll make it up uh, to next help time. your cause, what we can do is we can show one or two questions, one more question as a buzzer. I would request now again all uh, four teams uh, to be there on the screen and maybe one spokesperson. Yeah. Quickly, uh, team A, your spokesperson, please. No, okay. Mind this time, okay, okay, this time you? we will not read the question to make it more difficult. Yeah, you can. Uh, or... Aniket, you can input that. Okay, we will show you. Okay, we will show you three slides. We will show you the lab, clinics, everything. Then you have to give the final diagnosis we by saying need... your team name, and yeah. then you can give plus ten minus five. Plus ten minus five will be the so score. If you hit the buzzer and you answer incorrect or you do not answer, that's minus five, right? Okay, ready? Who is the spokesperson from team B? Uh, excuse me, ma'am. We had a doubt. Uh, like. Are we supposed to answer to all the three images are displayed or can we answer in between? You, you can answer you in, between, in between. between. It has minus no negative problem. marking. So, so yes, plus you, 10 minus 5. Okay. You can definitely go for it. 
but team b okay. who is your uh, spokesperson yes ma'am i'll answer all right i think that's shloka team oh, shloka c? we can't see you yeah we need to be able to see you at all the times yes yes because yes, even right. we even we we miss yes. the youtube people will not miss okay. anything okay team c who is your spokesperson bacha all team right David. Devesh. Fine, Devesh. Team D, uh, not soon. Who's your spokesman? Ma'am, Tejas. All right, Tejas. And Team E, South Zone. Okay, I will now start showing you the images. This is the first part of the slide. <laughs> I want you to read the history, and once you have read it, let me know. I'll show you the next slide. Yeah. Okay. Fifteen-year-old boy, second child of his Consanguine. parents, cons oh, not consanguineous marriage. <laughs> Symptomatic for last six months: fever, chills, on and off, lymphadenopathy, no family or past history, febrile, oral cavity has mucositis, lip excoriation, pallor, icterus, <laughs> palpable <laughs> liver, tender, <laughs> with splenomegaly. And six days later, fever spikes and mucocutaneous bleeding. Do you want to see the next slide? If I move on, I will not come back to the slide. So read carefully. Can we move on to the next slide? Okay. So we are moving on to the next slide, which shows you the labs. Hemoglobin is given to you. WBC platelet, high level of plasma ferritin, interleukin two receptor, high level of TNF alpha, IL one, IL one, IL six, increased level of fibrin split products. There is more to it. I have more information. Do you want to see the next slide? Okay, so we will give you the further special investigations. North, north, north. Not okay. C, not team C, D. We told, D. D. No, we D. Told C. D. But we didn't hear C. We just heard North. Yeah, next. Okay, it's so team D, ma'am. Yeah, so even D, these D. Uh, team D, yes. Sir, we our answer is H. Sir, we are answering. Yes, beta. Yes. H L H hemophagocytic lymphohistiocytosis. Excellent. They are saying we are looking at hemophagocytic lymphohistocytosis. Well, they are absolutely correct. HLS secondary to Klebsiella sepsis, fever with hepatosplenomegaly, lymphadenopathy, pancytopenia, increased serum ferritin, increased IL2, decreased fibrinogen, increased FTP. Well done. We are very proud of your answer. And it is a house MD round. I'm sure you're enjoying the round. So do you want to do for team D? Okay. Do you want keepers? to do one more tough such clinical case? Yes, ma'am. Do you want to do one more? Or plus 10, minus 5? Ma'am, is our uh, is voice audible? Yes, yes. yes, yes audible. You're audible, bacha. Okay, ready? Next question. Look at the email question. It's still the buzz around. Special question. 26-year-old female, one-month history of irritability, multiple episodes of seizure, singing in unknown language, irrelevant speech, disinhibition, catatonia, posturing. Family members have noted a strange behavior. There is short-term memory loss as well. She is not recognizing her own members of the family. No substance abuse. No Past his history of HSV encephalitis treated with acyclovir for 21 days, recovered two months back. The vitals have been given. Eye opening is present, unresponsive, restless. There is oral facial dyskinesia. Okay, there, there is more information. Wait, wait, wait. Look there at is, the information. Okay, there's more information. There are labs. Lab and urine toxicology is negative. MRI B, shows... B, 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 B. B. Okay, team B wants it's to answer. B, but... but let us do, go the entire question. There is lymphocytic pleocytosis. Glucose protein is given to you. An extreme delta brush pattern is on EEG. All right, team B, tell us. What is your diagnosis? HIV, syphilis is not a negative. Whole body CT, right? What is your diagnosis, team B? Yes. Uh, mesial temporal sclerosis. Uh, Unfortunately. And encephalitis. Are you, which answer are you giving? You are giving multiple answers. 
anti anmd or encephalitis uh, okay beta we'll give you plus 10 marks the correct answer is anti nmd encephalitis okay for recent change. behavioral change oral facial automatism delta brush pattern on eeg mri shows mesial temporal lobe involvement lymphocytic pleocytosis past history of hsv treated 2 months back is the trigger so i'm happy that you answered it correctly well plus done so plus 10 for team b score keepers so can we have yes, the scores at the end of round 4 yes ma'am team b is leading with 110 well done team b team uh, c is 60 team well d done. 75 all team right a, 42.5 and team e 25 All right. So there is a close match between three teams going on. So buck up, buck up, everyone. We still have. Man, can you could you just repeat the scores once? Yes, can I can do that. Team A. Sure, I'll do. Team, team A. Team A. Team A. Forty two point five. Forty two point five. Team B. Team B. One one ten. One one ten. One one zero. Team C. Sixty. Sixty. Team D. Seventy five. Team E. Team E. Twenty five. Team F. There's no F. There's no F. There's no F. Okay, well done. So in the next round, we have the next round, which is very interesting. So we have seen in the last. Hanji. Yes, beta. Sir, so, uh, are you video? Just, in the previous, in the previous question, I thought whenever they say that they have to attempt, they have to attempt it with the uh, available information. If you had shown us all the four images, then even we would have pounced. No, no, no. But we said that in they can pounce any time before if they can answer with less information. Also, then. Ma'am, but you showed them the remaining two slides also. No, no, but okay, but okay. They what we can do okay. even before that, okay, I think well, they just okay. What we can do is, uh, if the team agrees, we can uh, do that as null as null question as well. I think uh, team because. Uh, they pounce too early. I think that is a fair point that they just mentioned that they pounce too early, and then they change their answer also once. So, uh, do you agree that uh, team Shloka uh, got the answer? Right? Shloka yes, somebody. Team B. Shloka, yes, yes, agree? sir. That's fine. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir, that's so, fine. Uh, so let us reduce the marks ten marks from uh, the team B. Okay. That's a good fighting spirit. I appreciate yes. Team yes, B. Yes, that's, that's, that's that's right. You have to point out if you feel it is unfair and if perfect. We feel so I so. think everyone agrees on that. So we are so reducing round five. Team marks. Round five okay. is the famous <laughs> dams multiplier round. In this round, the game can actually change. In this round, we'll give you six questions to each team, and each set there will be six. Each set will have five questions. First question, two point five marks. So it keeps doubling. Then five, then ten, then twenty, then forty. But if you answer correctly, then only the next question will be shown to you. Otherwise, the round will be over for you. Yeah. So you can score some minimum marks, and you can go to some maximum marks as well. So you can keep multiplying your marks by answering the first question correct. So then you move on to the second. If you answer that correct, you move on to the third, and so on. Okay, you agree. Okay, two point five. Then, if you get it right, then second question will have five marks. Then the third question will have ten marks. Fourth will have twenty marks. Fifth will have forty marks. But it is a rapid round, so please take down the time limit as thirty seconds for each question. Okay. Yes. So after the each team is done, we'll take some time to calculate the score and immediately tell to the scorer so that there is no confusion. Yes. Okay? Yes. Okay, ready. So we are going to start so with team A. If we answer anything wrong, then there is. Yeah, uh, does it turn to zero, or it would no. be we would go with the same mark? No, no. We, there's no negative marking, so we will not turn it to zero. You can go with minimum score, but we'll not. You cannot take the further questions of that round. Okay? So if you answer anything wrong, your point score till that time will become half. That. So let me explain to you once more the rules. I think you're not getting them. देखो पहला क्वेश्चन बताया इफ यू टेल द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन यू गेट टू पॉइंट फाइव मार्क्स एंड यू गेट दी चॉइस टू आंसर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इफ यू प्रोसीड टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर इट राइट यू विल गेट फाइव मार्क्स बट इफ यू आंसर इट रॉन्ग यू विल गेट वन पॉइंट टू फाइव योर प्रीवियस मार्क्स विल ऑल्सो गेट नेगेटिव भी करते हैं Are you able that to understand? That makes it tough. Okay, it's slightly complicated. Marking will help you with the marking with the first team. Don't worry. But if you answer, if you don't know the answer in a subsequent question, better to say I quit. Okay. Okay. Agree. Okay. 
लेट स्टार्ट नाउ टीम ए टीम ए आर यू क्लियर विद द रूल्स बच्चा यस मैम ओके परफेक्ट सो आई शो यू द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन नाउ Identify the pathology and name the characteristic antibody found in this condition. Ah, uh, this is antihistamine, na? Drug induced. Ha 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 ha. Anti. Yes, but drug induced lupus. Drug in drug induced lupus. Correct, 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 correct. Okay, beta, correct. Correct. Two point five marks. Two point five marks. Okay. Next question. Next question, beta. Next question. Formation of great cerebral vein of Galen. Five marks. Uh, 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 median percent cephalic vein. formation it is formed by which, formed which? by what and what formed uh, by which formed by formed by uh, superior Median. congenital and uh, straight and straight dala aru friend time niye ne mane ye ar kichu ye ache are you superior giving the ne? answer or are you discussing beta give us the final answer the time is less 30 second is the time total so 30 minutes so congenital and the super superior congenital and uh, straight it is the wrong answer we will now now we'll explain the scoring system once more first question you got 2.5 marks this Sir, question bra. was for first for 5 marks but you answered it wrong so we will have to give you half 1.25 marks you will get great vein of galen is formed by the junction by two internal cerebral veins and the basal rosenthal vein this is a previous neat pg question as well so scorekeeper it is going to be plus 1.25 for team a and the okay. questions that you could not see let us see some questions and see uh, like what you could not see just for the academic Let's purpose see, so that let's see team a be quick but no okay. plus and no minus so now no marks just see the questions ujwala scheme versus ujala very important questions ujwala even for your right exam ujwala is ujwala is like uh, gas cylinders and ujwala is like uh, trafficking that trafficking so you can see how how oh, ulta bola i think but yes how like one letter is, makes yeah. a difference ujawala is comprehensive scheme for trafficking rescue rehabilitate the trafficking victims of commercial sexual exploitation while ujwala is the lpg cylinder right okay. so that was very interesting and we had one more interesting question if you had gone so far we would have shown you this question I identify a and b used in sickle cell anemia Do you know the A and B? Hydroxyurea. 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 And B. B. Voxilat. A voxilat. Yes, yes, that's voxilat. absolutely that right. Hydroxyurea and voxilatrol. Shabash. Well done. So you had. And if you had so, gone further, then the fifth question would have been this: 1955 contained live polio virus in what was supposed to be inactivated virus vaccine. Mistake produced. One lakh twenty thousand doses of polio vaccine, which contained live polio. Forty thousand children developed abortive polio. Exposure led to an epidemic of polio in families and community of affected children. What is this accident called as? Do you know what is this incident particularly called as? Galti se vaccine me live virus chala gaya. It is nightmarish. Can you guess the incident? Historically very important. So so it is called as the. I am sure many of you in the YouTube are answering. The correct answer is the Qatar incident. Qatar incident. Polio vaccine contained live virus epidemic. and led to epidemic of polio myelitis. Okay, so I am sure now we are warmed up to this round. It's called as the multiplier round. Now we have a question for Team B. West Team zone. B, please turn on your cameras and your hands on the screen. And I hope the marking scheme is clear to you. Should we show you your first question? Uh, no, ma'am. Excuse me. Can we please confirm if uh, our teammate Jainam Shah is there? Because in the last question, he yes, got yes. disconnected. Yes, yes, he's here. Yes. He's very much here. Jainam is yes, here. Yes, okay, okay. 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 On okay. your marks, team B, get set, go. Name the twenty-first amino acid present mm -hmm. in the <laughs> following enzymes. Selenocysteine. Selenocysteine. They are saying selenocysteine, which is absolutely, absolutely correct. correct. So two point five marks. Do you want to see the next question? Next question for you. Name the phenomena A and B. Are you able to read it? Yes, sir. B to emperor. B emperor policies. Yeah, and A emperor policies. Ma'am, are there partial marking? Yeah, tell us the uh, full answer. A and B. What is A? 
Elios, Elosis, Elosis, Perplexis, and the time is up. Time is up, beta. Fine. Time answer. is up, Bache. So, um, so what if we uh, answer only one of A or B? We will cut your marks for the previous answer. Because it's a long question. Do it, Karu. Chance, Karu. Sir, A. Khabar, sir. एंटोसिस एंड बी इज Empiricolasis. You were right about option B, and they knew that they were right. So we give you one point two five marks. We or marks of the previous question will get halved. And so, so you get one point two five marks. But if you had continued, you would have seen this question. If you had continued, you would have seen this beautiful question. Very important question. What is the diagnosis? No clavicle. No clavicle, sir. No. Uh, Oh, yes, cleidocranial yeah, dysostosis. Cleidocranial dysostosis. Well done, well done. Well done. And well done. if you would have gone further, you would have seen this A and B obtained from these animals. What is A? Malignant pit viper and sperm of sea whale. Captopril's streptokinase. Be my dear. Ah, captopril's malignant pit. Then you would have seen captopril and protamine sulfate. Protamine sulfate. The antidote, right? And if you had continued even further, the fifth question you would have seen was this. Identify the syndrome X. In the females, that Female. includes paraganglia, uh, pheochromocytoma, somatostoma, neuroendocrine tumor, secondary polycythemia. Ah, pelu cha. Paraganglia no mas. This gene mutation na lida kada. Familial paraganglia melanoma syndrome, multiple melanoma. Ah, S H gene mutation na lida thay cha na familial paraganglia no mas. Okay, let's then the, the answer, answer would have been Pazak Zhuang syndrome, Pazak gain of function mutation in H I F two alpha. Bell Zufitan VHL associated with RCC HI HIF2 inhibitor. That would have been the questions that you would have seen. So well done, Team B. So plus one point two five. We move on to Team, team C. C. Everyone else, turn off your cameras. Team C, are you ready? Yes, the boys are ready. Okay, so we will show you the question, and you will have to explain. Okay, ready for your question. Sixty-four-year-old woman with breast mass, pain in the left hip, diagnosed with breast cancer with multiple bone, lung, and lymph node metastasis. She has received treatment with local radiotherapy, right, which was delivered to the bone tumor and some of the bone meds, but she did not receive chemo, and this is because of her poor performance status. However, ten months later, after the radiotherapy. spontaneous regression is observed not only within the irradiated field but also in the non irradiated field all signs of cancer throughout the body disappeared and the patient's performance status drastically improved can you explain us the phenomena so very interesting question and a very possible question for your upcoming exams as well yes Team C, come on, boys. Are you trying? Man, so uh, the immune response means time is up, ma'am. Means the body is acting, uh, acting against, against the cancer cells as an because of some antigen which might be common to all the uh, neoplastic cells. The triggers but, but, a mediated response. Name, name, we sure. cannot like recall the name. Yeah. Okay, we can't give you any marks here, and the phenomena that we are looking for is called as abscopal effect. Abscopal effect says that shrinkage if, of the main if, tumor. If you shrink the main tumor, the meds also metastasis shrink. Metastasis also shrinks, and that is what you had seen in this question. So no very, marks very for you, no marks for you. But if you had continued Come further, on, boys, then you would have seen this question. Identify the cells marked. Oh, please answer it correctly, Team C. Superficial, superficial. Then you would have yeah. said that black arrow was intermediate cell, yellow was parabasal yeah. cell. Then, if you had continued further, we would have said one percent aprocloridinine test causes meiosis in a normal, but causes midriasis in Horner syndrome. Yeah. Answer: Why it is happening? Because aprocloridinine is a non-selective alpha agonist. Okay, so that was the question. 
and the next question would have been interpret, interpret the, the flow, flow cytometry, cytometry in the pic A and pic B. What is A and B? Can you answer, boys? CLL and mental cell. Yes, and very then good. the answer would have been CLL and mental cell lymphoma. What does which you had answered correctly, but unfortunately it came later on in your ladder. And the final question that you would have seen would have been this: What does C in HBA one C stand stand for? for? What does C stand for? Do you know that? Is the name of the place? No. Oh. It means it is extracted by cation exchange chromatography. That's what C stands for. Okay. So this but is you how know this the, is important. we have uh, collected the set of interesting informations, the top level questions that actually make a difference in the final ranks. Let us now go to team four with the multiplier round. So not team so. D, not so. Are you ready? Please turn on your cameras, your hands on the screen. Are you ready for the first question? Yes, okay. Yes, ma'am. So now we have an X-ray image for you. Interpret it for us. Sale sign, no? Absolutely. Absolutely correct. The X-ray is normal. You can see the thymus sale sign. Well done, well done, beta. Well done. Two point five marks. Next question. Interpret the image A and B. Interpret the image. Sir, IHC third two. Sir, one cytoplasmic staining and the other nucleus. Sir, this is IHC staining pattern showing site uh, in A. It is showing cytoplasmic staining of her two membrane staining, and in B, it is showing nuclear staining. Time is up. Yeah. Absolutely well correct. Done. Absolutely correct. You give you five marks. We give you five marks. Okay, so let's they move have, on to the. They have two point five plus five, seven point five marks in this round. Seven point five marks. Because uh, you know they have answered it no. well, we will now show them. Point five the... becomes five. They have five. They have two point five, so and the second question will become a five marks. You have already done the second question. They've done first question was two point five marks. Yeah, it is five marks. Seven point five marks they will get. Yes, sir. Yes. Seven point five marks. Okay. Now, if you had gone further, we have... no, sir, we have we have answered this. Yes, okay, yes. You answer. So we we'll show you one more image. Tissue taken from the cerebellum of a नहीं सर आप वो देखो ना एट ईयर ओल्ड बच्चा है और सेरिबेलम उसमें सर वो निग्री तो हो सकती है और ये बट दूसरी ना इन्होंने वो किया है सीएसएफ लेकर उसकी साइटोलॉजी करी सबसे ऐसे पर बोल बट बोलना है ओके यस आई यू अटेम्प्ट करना है या फिर ओके बेटा फाइनल आंसर टाइम इज आप फाइनल आंसर मैं साढ़े सात पर छोड़ दें बट फिर बुरा भी लगेगा साढ़े सात लेकर यू हैव टू आंसर प्लीज आंसर क्विकली बच्चा टाइम इज़ ऑलरेडी पैर बोल दें मैम वी विल अट सर बोल ही देते हैं मैम वेरी सेला ओके दे आर सेइंग वेरी सेला इज़ द फाइनल आंसर सो इट इज़ इनकरेक्ट इन फैक्ट यू वर गोइंग ऑन द राइट � Yes. So now I think Dr. Nee, Dr. 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 is correcting me. In this round, if you get one question correct, you get 2.5. And if you get the second question you correct, you get 5. You reached on to 5, not 7.5. That is why it was called as the multiplier, multiplier round. Okay. And if you get a question wrong, then the half question mark score become half. So you get 2.5 marks. Uh, 2.5. 2. 2.5. They have answered 2 correctly. So, they... gal to gaya na. Achha, so you half be karna. Right, Haan. right, right. I'm so sorry. Marks. You get 2.5. So you get 2.5 marks. If you had continued further, if you had continued further, we would have asked you Farhas Lindquist syndrome. Ma'am, in this, ma in this, there is peripheral in blood vessels versus a capillary tube. The uh, the okay. cells pack uh, corpuscles tend to stay towards the periphery, and so due to the laminar flow, very the good, blood very cells tend uh, to occupy the central. But then you yes. would have gone to the next question, which which is this? What is your diagnosis? Please answer it correctly. What do you see? It's very interesting. 
Is that person right. sitting or? Ah, uh, uh, he's sitting. I no, no, it's all. No, it's good. Shy sir, up. Both working. William working, working, working. Very good. All right, all right. Five marks. Five, five marks. You can look. You are looking at working traumatic asphyxiation. Which small, small thing? You are now at five. Okay. Third question. You can make it ten. Come on, team E. What is A B C? Inoculation no, method no, for no, culture. No, no, no. ABC term What are they asking? They give them an image was different inoculation method for culture. Time so, is up. ABC sediment. Okay, still it still the sediment. What is that? Okay. What is A? What is B? And what is C? Time is up, buche. You need to answer. Inoculation method for culture. Stab culture. Stab. We're not answering. Do you know in Sambavi have any idea? Well, the third one looks like stab, but I don't know the other two. Okay, I'll just uh, a streak stab, and this okay. one is uh, oh. first one is um, surface. Okay, this okay. Broad. Okay, let's go with. Okay, just tell. Okay, first one is the broad culture. Second is uh, streak uh, culture. Third like in urease. And C is uh, stab. Okay, let's go with the third one. Third one is stab. Okay, let's go with the third one. Third one is stab. Okay, let's go with the third one. Third one is stab. Okay, let's go with the third one. Third one is stab. Okay, let's go with the third one. Third one is stab. Okay, let's go with the third one. Third one is stab. Okay, let's go with the third one. Third one is stab. Okay, let's go with the third one. Third one is stab. Okay, let's go with the third one. Third one is stab. Approximately, they are right. Uh, maybe we, we can give them. Okay, they were right in two, so I think we'll give it to them. So plus ten. Okay. Plus ten. Plus ten. We'll now one more question. Next. We'll give you one more question now. You are at plus ten. You can get twenty now. Nineteen-year-old woman with insomnia, recurrent hallucination, visual hallucination, paresthesia, ataxia. Histopath shows the below men mentioned finding, and what is your diagnosis on the image? MRI also shown to you. Okay, MRI. That looks like a old girl. Insomnia. 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 Okay, beta. Final answer. Final answer. Final answer. Shambhu, Shambhu, what what, is, what were you saying? Nineteen-year-old prion disease unlikely. Yeah, I was thinking CTD, but very. Okay. Answer or should we just take? Beta, final answer. Beta, final answer. Beta, final answer. Time is up. Please answer. Final answer. Sir, so, yeah. so if you are not opting to answer it, we'll get the ten points, right? Yeah, then yeah, you'll we'll get can... plus ten. If you don't answer. Yes. Finally, beta, wait. Just make up your mind. Too much time you have taken. Like a spongy form disease. Okay, yes, told you. So, what is it? Okay, prions. Yes, it's a prions disease. Um, Can you be more like specific? Spongy form change. Spongy form spongy change. Form change is seen in the first slide and second picture. Um, it's showing. Uh, hmm. Okay, the correct answer. That, okay, okay. Second image is showing you involvement of the pulvinar, which is the posterior part of the thalamus, and you can see spongy form changes. The correct answer that we are looking for was variant CJD, variant Kruppel Jacob disease. Young patients with duration more than six patients, recurrent visual hallucination, painful paresthesia, behavioral change. 
because you were partially correct we will not cut your marks but will not give you don't uh, cjd i told you no no but, you, no, no, but you didn't give us that as the final answer she it, was when, telling when, you when we the said answer. the final answer you only said okay, okay, but you did not yeah. so we are not cutting okay. your marks but we are not giving taking you taking you to the next level so, so 10 plus marks 10. you get plus okay. 10 marks in this round plus okay. 10 marks okay and if you had gone further the next question would have been this can you tell us had you move forward this would be your question mm -hmm. and um, the diag diagnosis in this platelet aggregometry would have been defective adp collagen adrenaline defective aggregation normal risk-protein agglutination glanzman thrombasthenia or afibrinogen so that would have been the fifth question if you had gone further okay now what i'll do is uh, before we go on uh, we can can we have these scores, please? Can we have these scores, please, now? And I also, if you want to take a water break or, you know, a little bit of break, you can take a break and then we'll come back with the final two rounds. Okay. So, score is uh, team B is leading with 111.25. Then team C is 60. Team D is 77.5. Team A is 43.5. 75 and team E is 35. Okay, well done, teams. Do Excuse you mean... me, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, ma for team B, ma'am, I think their score should be 101 points. Sorry. Yeah, yeah we, uh, we, got, uh, we didn't got the 10 marks for the anti NMD answer. Yes, it was less, no? Team B, last 10 marks has been deducted because you people have discussed this, not yeah, yeah. So, ma'am, actually, our marks are coming to 101.25, not 111.25. Okay, yes, yes. So, they are being very honest. They are telling they are getting more. So, 101.25. In the history of gray matter, it is happening for the first time. There is a big hand. They are telling that please cut our own marks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so please take five minutes break and we are around. There are two more rounds to be done. One buzzer round, one uh, another interesting round, which will That's tell you. Quiet. So, please be back in five minutes time so that we can start in the same uh, portal is everyone back please give your attendance team a all three members are you present aniket sayak and mayuk everyone back yes ma'am okay team b next round in this quiz will be a fast and the furious round as you can see on the screen called as the buzzer round I want one member from each team to be nominated because Excuse it me, will sir. be very furious. Hanji, Bita. Uh, so, would you please mind waiting for just one minute? One of our team members is coming. All right. Yeah, yeah we are waiting. Definitely, right. definitely, yeah. definitely, Devesh. Okay. So, meanwhile, while we are waiting, are you all enjoying the quiz? Do you think it's a good learning process as well? Yes, yes ma'am. Right, because all of you, you, you had the, you know, the brightest cream, of the lot. Cream of the lot. You yeah. have been able to reach to the grand finale of the Dams Grey Matter after winning the zonal rounds. We have with us winners from the East, West, Central, North and the South Zone. And we are at the round six. This is a, mem a mega quiz. It is not only a test of your knowledge, but also of your patience. And how long can you sit and look at the computer screen? <laughs> I am sure if it was a video game, you would have done it even better. <laughs> Are you back, everyone? Yes. Sir. Yes, yes. Team A, who is going to be your representative is Zone? My con is high. My con is high. Okay. Is Zone. Aniket, Sayak, Mayu, con is high. Sir, uh, should we do like uh, every year that anyone can say the team name, then we can answer? Sir, because uh, in many teams, there are three people, there are two people. So, they have two people out there, three people out there. No, every so, team has three members, bacha. Okay, no, some people Yes, sir. Means people in, a, in okay. a certain position, some are sitting all three together. Achha, okay. Okay, okay, okay. What we can do is we can write. Everybody put your camera on. Everybody put your camera on then. Okay. And I'll ask Kanika, Rakesh, everybody to keep a lookout for the person who presses the buzzer. In this yes. round, we'll have 15 questions. Each question... Uh, carries... Shloka and uh, Purnamita, please turn on your cameras, Vita. Each question carries 10 marks. Wrong answer, yes, minus sir. 5. Okay, ready? Hello. Yes. Sir, now. 
टाइम Everybody Sir, we say the name of our team or our own name. You well, just say team, team like A B C. No, don't just... say your names. Please say okay. your team okay. number. A B C D. Okay, because then A B C D. Just say A B C. Yeah, you don't even need to say team. Okay, ready? Don't even say team. Otherwise, it will take time. Okay? Phones off, everybody. Put your phones off. Uh, ready, ma'am? We are connected on call. Acha, thi, acha. Okay, okay. Even we uh, tell our member to count. Okay, 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 that's okay. That's okay. okay. Done. Get the first question. Connect and identify the drug. Identify the drug. Connect them. Tell me the drug name. Don't no connections. Only the answer. B. Okay, team B. Tell team me. B. Team B. Arsenic. 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 Can you connect as well? Arsenic trioxide, she said. Correct. Plus ten marks. Arsenic trioxide, APML, okay. secondary syphilis, QT prolongations, Salvarsan, magic bullet, okay. once used for syphilis. She gets plus ten marks. Team B gets plus ten marks. Okay. Team B. Okay. Next question. Okay. Ready. This sixty-five-year-old female post lung transplantation on antifungal prophylaxis developed widespread body pain. Oh, swelling. Okay. Nice. Lung transplantation, antifungal prophylaxis, widespread body pain. What is the? Anybody wants to press the buzzer? No. Um, B me. Okay. B I E. B me. B me. Sorry, team. Just hold it. Just hold it. Team E. Sir, Malfucci syndrome. Minus five. The correct answer was voriconazole induced periosteitis. Try fluorinated antifungal medication. Fluorine acts with the calcium of the bone. Minus five. Team E has minus five scorers. Please keep on. Yes, note. sir. Yes. Next image. I will show you the image. I only need the name of the syndrome. Nothing else. Okay. Name yeah. of the syndrome. Ready. Identify the syndrome. Identify the syndrome. Bol bol. C C. Okay C. Team C yes. Irata syndrome due to methimazine. Irata Perfect. syndrome is correct. Very well done. Okay. Very well done. Plus ten marks for team C. Plus I ten marks for team C. Okay. Anybody is uh, please uh, don't. Some noise is coming. Huh? <laughs> Okay, Hello. ready. Team four, identify the staging system and its application. C C C C C. C C C C C. North North North. I heard C. I heard C C C C. आगे ये तो खुले खुले रख खुले रख माइक खुले. We all heard C C C. Ma'am, this is Quintero staging system for T B T. Yes. Yes. Well done. Team C gets plus ten. Team C plus ten. Team C plus ten. Okay, ready for the next one. Next one, you will have to tell both to get the marks. Please be very careful. Yes, okay? we will not give marks if it, if you answer only one correctly. Okay. Identify instrument. C C C C C. Not 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 not. B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B Plus ten Then again. C, C, C. C. Because there is a time lag between me discussing. So if mm -hmm. it's okay with you, I can also count like team B. Ah, Nishit, girl, na bhai. अरे भाई तू पाउंड स्कूल नहीं निकलना होने को मैंने आपको ओके बेटा ओके बेटा ओके बेटा रेडी 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 नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन यू नीड दी पर्सन एंड दी प्रोसेस बोथ सो बी वेरी केयरफुल आईडेंटिफाई दी पर्सन एंड दी सेलुलर प्रोसेस डिस D D D D D D D D D. Okay, team D. We all heard. This is Kelly Metchnikov and phagocytosis. Super. Correct. Nice. Plus ten really marks. Good. Plus ten marks. It is Kelly Metchnikov. Shabash. Phagocytosis. Well done, team D. D. Plus ten, team D. Okay. 
Everybody be alert. It's a very easy question. I'm already warning you. Be warning. on your toes. Your tips and toes. <laughs> okay, tough question. What? Identify the test and mention. Hey, 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 B heard B. What about A? A was ma'am. A was at first. B and B. 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 Okay. A. Yeah. B. 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 Ma'am, I said B. Actually, B and D. Ma'am, D, 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 D,
बट जोन हमें नॉर्थ की सुनाई दिया था एक बारी ओके 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 नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन प्रीवियस आई एन सेट एग्जाम क्वेश्चन इट हैज बीन आस्ट इन दी एग्जाम ओके गेट रेडी एंड टेल मी दूस ठीक है रेडी ओके वन बच्चा इज एक्टेड प्लीज गेट हर एंटर्ड शंभवी कुलकर्णी इज एक्टेड प्लीज एड हर कैन एनी वन एंटर्ड शंभवी आप लोग सी टीम ए इज ईस्ट जोन बी इज वेस्ट जोन सी इज सेंट्रल जोन डी इज नॉर्थ जस्ट मिनट लेट मी लेट एस एंटर शंभवी मैम जस्ट गिव मी अ मिनट है बोले जी बोले जी हेलो हेलो श्लोका है ना बाजार प्रेस करो तो साइबर रेडी है ओके 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 गेट रेडी गेट रेडी गेट रेडी फॉर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन इज दिस एवरीबॉडी ऑन योर मार्क्स आइडेंटिफाई द इंडेक्स नॉर्थ 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 मैम सेड वी सेड सेंट्रल मैम नो मैम नॉर्थ कनेका डिड यू हियर सेंट्रल मैम यू आर ऑन म्यूट एक मिनट यू आर यू आर म्यूट कनेका आई कांट हियर यू कनेका अनम्यूट समबडी हैज सेड बी दैट इज वेस्ट जोन मैम बट हम वी सेड द मैम वी सेड नॉर्थ एंड एंड वी हैव टू एक्चुअली दे सेड बी तो वेस्ट जोन है मैम यू टोल्ड अस टू से द जोन बट इफ वी आर सपोज्ड टू से द जोन वी सेड फर्स्ट देन बाय दैट लॉजिक ओके वेस्ट जोन वेस्ट जोन योर क्वेश्चन वेस्ट जोन इंसर्टिंग इंसर्टिंग इंडेक्स और टू डिटरमाइन पटेल आई करेक्ट करेक्ट आंसर फॉर टीम टीम बी इंडेक्स इट इज इंडेक्स इट इज सलवाटी इंडेक्स और यूज्ड फॉर पटेलर हाइट इन लेटरल एक्स रे नॉर्थ ही ओके रेडी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नाउ ओके रेडी 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 यू हैव टू टेल अस द कंडीशन इन विच दिस ड्रग्स आर यूज only the condition not the drugs hmm? okay. time is up sir 5 yeah. seconds and let me put it okay time is up for everyone time is up and the correct answer is hyperkalemia सोडियम जर्कोनियम साइक्लोसिलिकेट सुक्रोफेरिक ऑक्सीहाइड्रोक्साइडियोटोमोलिया वॉज दंसर ओके Next question, we will show you a tough one. It's a tough question, but it's possible that. But you are even better. So and it's a very important condition. So name the sign and the disease. Even if you give the disease, we are. Sir, okay. uh, a, 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 a,
buzzer round buzzer round okay. and in the next coach round we will have the final round so, so before we, we go for the final round can we know the scores please mom score is team b 131.25 and then team uh, d is 107.5 then team c is 90 team a 53.75 and team e is 30 Okay, so Madam, uh, can you repeat it, Mark? Sure, sir. Team A fifty three point seven five. Team B one three one point two five. Team C ninety. Team D one zero seven point five, and Team E thirty. Thank you, ma'am. Yes. now we come to the final round for which dr deepthi will be taking the round so that the pace is same this round is called as the rapid fire and i have seen in the past in gray matter many times the fates change at the rapid fire stage mm -hmm. this is the final round you will have uh, you know each team we will have 10 questions 60 seconds if you say correctly we get 10 no negative marking and if you say skip we will come back to it if you say wrong answer we will not come back Provided to it the time is left yes okay. 60 seconds the time is very important in this particular round to make it easy we will show you all the questions at one go itself and i will read them out for you so team a are you ready yes ma'am okay so we will have the first set of rapid fire round for team a So question number one: Most common vasculitic disorder in childhood worldwide is polyarthritis. No, sir. Wrong. Incorrect. No, no. Kawasaki. Kawasaki. Embryological remnant of proximal part of the umbilical artery is. Quickly answer. Next. 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 Median umbilical ligament. Okay. Switching motility is seen in. Quickly pass so that I can move on. Pass. 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 Trichomonas, trichomonas, trichomonas. Systolic murmur heard in small VSD. Trichomonas is right. Quickly, beta. Pass, pass, कोरे दे, pass कोरे दे. Okay. The time of nystagmus seen in cerebellar degeneration is. Vertical. Okay, that's correct. Let's go on to the next one. What are Mary Notty cells found? Where pass. are Mary Not pass 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 what your reason 290 290 ipc okay, correct correct target receptor for peg uh, peg seta coplan in cd 25 cd 55 cd 55 incorrect uh sub intimal focus in pulmonary vein in tuberculosis is called time up ma'am okay okay so, so i think they got two correct so they got trichomonas and three, three correct sir three correct yes, so we'll give the answer so we'll give the answer sir, what most, is the excuse most me sir common you please repeat the marking scheme plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 if you give it wrong and zero for no negative zero yes no, no negative, no negative. Okay. okay so most common vasculitic disorder in childhood worldwide is hs i am ota bolchilam tu bole dili amar mute chilo am segment of proximal part of the umbilical artery is superior vesical artery टिकोटिकोटिकोटिकोटिकोटिकोटिकोटिकोटिकोटिकोटिकोटिकोटिकोटिकोटिकोटिकोटिकोटिकोटिकोटिकोटिकोटिकोटिकोटिकोटिको
bring your set next. So question number one, most common muscle that yes, is no. sampled for biopsy neuromuscular disorders. Are you answering that? Sure. Okay. Uh, one is skip. Two is median umbilical ligament. Gliding is GRDR. Uh, okay. The... Gliding no, no, motility GRDR. is seen in. That's question number three. Gliding motility. Gliding motility. You can answer. Mycoplasma. Three is mycoplasma. Okay. okay. Uh, Mom Murmur heard in stenosis. You can answer any question. You can answer any question. Yes, yes. You can answer. Okay, any... okay. Uh, Infraclavic. Ninth is asthma and focus. Okay. okay. That's correct. Uh, magistrate. One, um, 176. Bol jau. Magistrate. Seven is 176. CRPC. That's also correct. That's okay. right, Shloka. No, no, no. Snow storm. Snow storm. Oval cells, time is up, ma'am. Okay, okay, time is up. Okay, okay, the time is up. So I think they got four correct. They got mycoplasma correct. So the most common muscle is sampled in biopsy neuromuscular disorders is vastus lateralis. Then you had the median umbilical ligament, which is the, the remnant of uracus. They got it right. Gliding motility is they mycoplasma. Got right. They got it right. Murmur is Doc Murmur, they did not answer this. The type of nystagmus is ataxic. They did not answer. Oval cells, stem cells, cells, stem cells in, in liver. The liver. The IPC, they answered correctly. One, 176. 176 is correct. Then name the new MAB approved for generalized MG. Rosalie Zumab. And this is a very important question for your future exams. Asman focus, they got it right. Wind box tumor of the driven snow appearance, they did not get right. So I think they, so got, they got four, four correct. correct. Get 40 marks. So plus yes. 40. 40. Yes. Okay, team C, are you ready? Can you please turn on your cameras, team C? Yes, ma'am. Are we audible? Yes, you are audible. Do you want to say something again one more time so that I know that you're audible? Hello. <laughs> yes, perfect. Just to be doubly sure. Okay, so I'm going to bring your questions on the screen now. Most common inherited cancer well, in the children. Uh, Tenth is CMV retinitis. Okay, correct. that's one correct. Ninth is rich. That's also Eight. correct. Eight is coma veloxonone. That's Necrophilia, also correct. Necrophilia is 297. Half bower is placenta. Very good. Stately seen in clostridia. Okay, that's also correct. Common is left common would be. Was it side IBC? Yeah. Inherited cancer. Inherited cancer. One is in a neuroblastoma. That's incorrect. Nystagmus seen in syringomyelia can be horizontal or tors torsional also. That's correct. Yeah. Left common cardiac Diagonal. Ah, right, uh, left sided SVC. Left common, uh, left common cardinal. Time left up, ma'am. Time, Time up. Is up. Time is up. Time is up. Time is up. So okay. the most common inherited cancer in children is retinoblastoma. Retinal. I think you've got seven correct. Oblique Let's remnant of left cardinal vein is oblique vein of left atrium. Stately motility is clostridium. They got one this correct. Yes. Cabot's lock murmur is heard in stevia untreated anemia. They did not answer this. Then torsional nystagmus, they answered correctly. Placental macrophages, they answered correctly. IPC, they answered correctly, 297. Oma veloxalone, they answered correctly. Rich focus, they answered correctly. CMV retinitis, they answered correctly. So it's seven correct. They get plus 70. Plus 70. 70. Yes, very well done. So team D. Are you ready, Team D? We're unmute. We're okay. unmute. Team D. Hey, everybody, please yes, switch off your cameras if you're not in Team D. Yeah, just Team D to uh, turn on sir, the camera. Sir, you can see the top of the And your hands on the screen. Your questions are also going to come on the screen now. Ma'am, you don't need to... Ma'am, male wheel murmur is in cardiac... Uh, oh. uh, sir, ma'am, six are the inter inter inhibitory cells. Uh, uh, ma'am, ten uh, ten is in the lobular carcinoma of the breast. Uh, 
uh, one is cerebellitis uh, uh, cerebellitis uh, okay. the two is uh, patent uh, the ligamentum artery uh, sorry uh, wait wait sir mill wheel hota hai cardiac catheterization ha aur lashing motility kis mein thi trico apex mein kaun sa hota hai asman asman ka pull ये so i think they answered first one herpes zoster as cerebellar involvement cerebellitis Cerebral. that is correct we will get back to you but i don't correct. think you got any other correct so okay. no ma'am we said cardiac catheterization in mill wheel murmur so that and renshaw said that we had to convergence in stagmus convergence in stagmus we are looking at it the mill wheels murmur was air in the right ventricle or air embolism yeah which the answer mention. which we have cardiac is cardiac catheterization may be air embolism also nahi but, but cause but is air embolism we na? needed air embolism as the answer so i think you answered nystagmus in perinaut syndrome as nystagmus convergence in direction it is nystagmus look sir wohi hota hai matlab it is okay, correct we can, give, we can give it and to sir, you and sir inhibitory neuron bola tha na sir wo sir, bola inhibitory neuron gelatinous sir random man inhibitory neuron i think i think, think you said three correct you get three correct i think three no sir even the sir cardiac catheterization bhi bola cardiac catheterization air embolism bhi bola what is air embolism the answer okay we wanted air embolism as the answer so i think we can give you three correct three correct fair enough so plus 30 Yes, ma'am. Same D. Plus 30, and we come to the final, truly final of this finale with set five for the team E. Are From you ready, South. team E? Sambhavi, yes, Sonat, Purnamita. Yes, sir. Okay, so we are going to put your answers. Oh, sorry, your questions on the screen now. Hmm. Who's the comedian? Start answering, beta. You can answer in any order. But answer also, but the time is. But you have to answer simultaneously. Answer. We we all are. लंग्स लंग No, no. The pan cells are seen in spleen, spleen stem cells. Time up, ma'am. What are the two drugs for answering? Time up for ALS, uh, Tofersen. Okay, time is up now. I think you have answered two correct. Two correct answers from you. So, so most, most common, common cause is subarachnoid hemorrhage. Embryological remnant in the female equivalent to paradidymis is paruferone. <laughs> Spinning motility, motility is Fusobacterium. Hodgkin's scheme murmur is heard in syphilitic aortic regurgitation. Type of nystagmus is vertical upbeat. Vertical upbeat. Granuloma cell. inguinal. Section three twenty six A. Tofferson, Ashcroft pull lesion, and primum ASD. So I think you got two of them correct. Yes. You got two of them correct. So these are the answers. Tofferson and three twenty six A correct. Twenty marks for you yes, at the end of this round. So I think now is the time where we need to now go on to the final scores. Final scores and get to know who is the winner. But before we declare the scores, I want to tell you each one of you is a winner because you have participated and you've came so far in the Dams Grey Matter quiz. It is a very legacy quiz. Every year, you will see if you go back to the YouTube channel, you will see people who have won in the Dams Grey Matter usually end up getting a top rank in either NEET PG or, or a very set. Yes, it is a very legacy quiz. The prizes are very high. 
team which wins gets 50000 cash prize dr kanika kanika please tell us team which comes second will get 30000 25000 25000 and team see that that third one 15000 So fifty thousand, twenty five thousand, and fifteen thousand are the prizes to be won. You can actually take home ninety thousand total prizes here. So let us now have the scorers with the final score. But don't panic. You have already won because you came so far. I'll request all the participants to put on the camera and be there for the final photograph as well. I was. I I must appreciate each of the candidates. You've been absolutely rocking today. Super bright brains. Your discussions were amazing. Your thought process was good, and uh, you know, hats off uh, to all the efforts that you've put in. Right. So very very good. So everybody, put on your camera. Please come on the screen, Sambhavi as well. Please put on the camera. I am now going to get the. first slide for so that we can take the picture before we declare the winners and we get the first slide and this is what we played this is what we played this today i am sure you can enjoy it okay okay please give your best smile now okay everyone you've done really well okay let me see if i can take the reverse also dr deepthi can you look here Okay. Okay. Let me take one more picture, please. Make a V sign. All of you are winners. Yes. Yeah. Well done. Okay. Okay. Let me just do it once more. Okay. Now my Perfect. question to all of you is: Any guesses? Uh, who has come third in this quiz? Who has come third? Kanika will tell. But anybody of you can guess who has come third. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which team has come third? Third position. Any guesses? Okay, let's ask our scorers, Kanika and Rakesh. Big round of applause for them for keeping uh, up with this marathon quiz. Sir, team D, one, three, seven, point five. Team B from West Zone. No, no, D, D, no, D. D, D. Team okay, D from North, North Zone, Zone. Devang Agarwal, Vidhi Gupta, Tejas Sikri, Mamsi and Ames Rishikesh are. second runner up in this quiz and you did absolutely amazing i am very very i mean we are all very proud of you so hats off we can see you smiling yes and you get a cash prize of 15000 so can i ask you now what was your experience in the quiz and what will you do with the money <laughs> okay you can speak one by one we want to hear all three of you devang tejas as well as vidhi Both, 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 both. Sir, I think I just feel blessed to be a part of this experience because so many people here we've seen in quizzes we've never met them in person. But while we were waiting out and started taking baby steps right. in second year, these people were already established names in quizzing. Even like they were sir, the winner, and all the Aniket sir and. All of them. So it is a wonderful experience to get to compete with them, and also Devang sir getting to collaborate. So you not only get cash prizes, all the people who have reached so far, you are eligible for a free course on Dams eMedicos app as well. Kanika will offer you the best Dams course on the app is the Ultimate Life course. If you are not only a Dams student so far, you can take that course as well, plus the prize yeah. money also, and also. now all the participants this course is for all the participants because you have reached so far cash prize is only for the second runner up now can i ask my scorers who is the first, first runner, runner up? up team c from central zone 160 devesh, devesh deban and ame from saint gs km hospital mumbai well done well done we well done do. boys thank you thank you sir sharing. thank you ma'am I'm sharing the screen to sharing the position. So you get twenty five thousand rupees plus. All of you are eligible for well a done. free ultimate life course, India's only life course for PG medical entrance exam on the eMedicos app. Can we have your experience now? What is your experience about this quiz? Um, um, hello, sir. Hello, ma'am. Uh, actually, this was the first time I reached the finals of the quiz. I have been giving it for the last two years. Wow! So I was uh, very happy that I could uh, make it up to here, and uh, the quiz was great. Uh, the questions were very good, and it was mind-boggling. And I had a very good experience. Thank you. Great! We are so proud of you. Congratulations to the team, Devesh and team. Do you uh, do others also want to say something? 
Yes, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. I am Devesh, and this is my second time giving the gray matter. Wow. So, yeah, we really enjoyed, and as usual, it lived up to its expectations. The questions are very tough, and <laughs> we were expecting that. Yeah, <laughs> and we had a lot of fun. Okay. We always want to keep gray matter to the next level because we are dealing with the cream, the yeah, top I level of these colleges. Sweet so far, there is no doubt whether you are intelligent if, if or not. If we give you two easy questions, you will, you know, just eat the quiz alive. <laughs> okay. Now Good evening, before sir. we. Yeah. Good evening, Peter Anji. Yeah. It was a really nice experience. The of course the level of questions as always were excellent, and it was a great experience to even share the stage with, of course, ma'am and sir and. Also, the, all the other participants whose uh, names, like uh, they just said, whose names we have been hearing for such a long time. So it was overall a really great experience, and thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir, for the experience. Great, great, perfect. And before we go for the final winner and you close the quiz, we would want any other participant wants to say something today. You are all winners. You want to say something. Any other participant wants to say something, give your comments about the quiz or your experience and what are you feeling right now before we declare the winners. Uh, sir, ma'am, I'm Chambavi from uh, Bangalore, and uh, this is my first time quizzing. Like, I'm not uh, a part of the quizzing family, but I'm certainly interested now. So, thank you great. for the opportunity, and I have a lot to learn here on. So. That's that's great, Chambavi. So, it was your first quizzing experience, and you reached the final rounds of one of the most, you know, uh, prestigious, prestigious quiz in the country. Tough quiz as well. So hats off and way to go forward, Shambhavi. We are so proud of you. Thank you. Anybody else wants to say something before we declare the winners? Who is Hello, winner? Sir. Hello, ma'am. I am Sai Bhattacharya from Medical College, Kolkata. This yes. is a great experience. I have uh, reached the first time the finals of the Grey Matter. And wow. I am hoping forward to reach more and more finals and participate in more such quizzes. This was a blessing for me for sharing the stage with all the great participants and all the names we are hearing for the future PG toppers. <laughs> thank That's you, ma'am. That's true. Thank That's you, true. That's and I'm great. sure you, if you are following the Dams Daily channel on YouTube, you will also see many such quizzes and you know, daily events happening on the channel. Do subscribe to the and channel. I must say, I mean, yes, there are people who've been quizzing for quite some time, but to all the first timers, uh, we are so proud of you. So a big round of applause for all the first timers who are reaching to the final levels. And it's excellent. I mean, there is so much to learn from all of you. I can actually sit and start learning from all of you. Right. So I think uh, we should do that. So it's absolutely true that for this quiz, we had to read ourselves as well. So definitely a learning experience for us as teachers also. And plus, with as bright students as you on the screen, I mean, we always feel intimidated. And okay. now is the time for the moment that you are all waiting for who, which team takes home 50,000 rupees. Free courses on the DAMZ Medicos app, the best PG entrance course on the mobile app. The ultimate live course with live classes, with video solutions for the question bank, video solutions for the test series, and 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 all pre-recorded content, English everything and English included. both. You have everything on it. Soft copy notes, the ultimate course on the app. You get a subscription, all of you, plus 50,000 rupees for the winner without holding any more suspense because my heart is already beating. I need proper and all now. I'm so anxious. So let me ask Kanika and Rakesh, who is the winner? Team B, West Zone, 171.25. A big round. Team B from West Zone. Excellent. Yes. Floka Thakkar, Nishit Jainam from Ahmedabad, BJ Medical College and Government Medical College, Surat. All your Gujarat people Excellent. are proud of you. Excellent. Very well done. Thank and you, <coughs> Shloka was an absolute Thank fire. You, Thank you, ma'am. Right? She was just firing left, right and center. Yes. So proud of you. Very well done. Thank you, ma'am. So, Beta, how are you feeling now after winning the Dams Grey Matter 2023? So, it was uh, probably unexpected reaching the final of the quiz it was it, it was the first time i was giving any quiz and probably That's you off. might have forgotten but whenever you uh, the last month last year, year you came to surat and that was the point you motivated me to there and there itself that's, only that's wonderful well done. well done beta well done first timers as i said hats off to all of you super nice
shloka how are you feeling beta and Nish- so i would just like to say this was totally and completely unexpected and a really <laughs> unique quizzing experience uh, so thank you so much for this wonderful heartiest congratulations once again and where is nishid that there there he is nishid we would want to hear something from you as well um that no, it was a really great great experience i still buzz around the agent that was like i'm thank god ke the myocardium wasn't stunned <laughs> it was like really, really good to share the stage with the, all of them wonderful so before we go for today i'll just request all the participants to put on the camera once more so that we can take a final image and a final quick reel for the instagram are you ready okay here we have now the final winners and the all the students together who have participated in this edition of the gray matter and we have the quiz masters dr diki and dr sumer thank you very much for participating thank you for reaching so far we are very proud of your all of you and we want to send our blessings to all of you don't panic if you did not win it is not about winning it is always about participating when you play you win if you are playing you are always winning and for the first timers don't make it the last time please keep playing more quizzes and participate on the multiple events that keep happening on the dams youtube and telegram channel and, and not to system. forget we also have a quiz on e medicos app every single day be yes. a regular participant on the quiz make sure that you become a quizzer put the quizzing dna quizzing comes closest to the competitive exams people who win quizzes become more competitive they win more in the mcq exam super proud of you in the end we want to end by saying apna time apun Good like that. And I am again going to say I am very proud of all you bachas. It amazes me how bright you are, and I am sure a lot of hard work goes into it. So keep that up. We have the brightest minds here, and it actually makes me very happy to see that the forthcoming generation is going to be super awesome. So proud of you all. Take forward the legacy. and make the profession proud right so god and, bless best wishes and i'll request kanika to follow up this quiz with the prize money so that they get the prize money on time and i'll also request the team to make sure that they get the free courses on the dams e medicos app also on time so please make yes, sure sir. that you follow up with all yes, of them sir. and also a round of applause by all the team members for our scorers and the people behind the scene who are you know managing the entire quiz and uh, all the faculty members who contributed to the questions we wish you all the best keep rocking and we would love to meet you all in person also some day so let's make that very soon right so if you are around in delhi or we are around at your place let's make it happen let's meet for the personal picture <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> okay great so we wish you all the best congratulations once more to all the participants and the winners god bless you it is not about winning it is always about participating we wish you all the best keep rocking dams gray matter 2023 we have a new set of winners please look out for the 2024 edition also we will open the prelims in the mid year i wish you all all the best keep rocking and thank you sir thank you time upon khud laega thank you ma'am thank you sir thank you ma'am thank you sir thank you everybody Mayuk you were also super awesome today right so Mayus Matho Mayuk you were you were really good right so i need to see that big smile on Mayuk's face as well yes.